Welcome back to the stream. How is everyone doing? Hi, I'm very, very happy to be here. And we have quite a hot topic to cover tonight. Uh, here it is at night in uh, Malaysia. It is about nine o'clock here. And I'm very, very thrilled to talk about if Olympus or OM system should go full frame. Now, before everyone goes crazy and, you know, everyone says like, hey, Robin, are you crazy? I thought you love Olympus. I thought you love Micro Four Thirds. I thought you said Micro Four Thirds is the best system. What happened? Wait a minute. All right. I am still using Micro Four Thirds. I'm still a big Micro Four Thirds supporter. I'm using Olympus. Uh, I'm using OM system. It's my main workhorse for professional shoots. I'm still using my Olympus cameras for my shutter therapy sessions. That is not going to change. I love my Olympus cameras. I love my Olympus and Panasonic lenses. But we are here to discuss what if there is a possibility of Olympus or OM Digital Solutions exploring the world of full frame. Is it going to benefit the company? Is it going to help them in terms of business? Is it going to help them in terms of surviving the vicious camera market, which is shrinking rapidly these days? The industry is not going to be easy. Things are going to get more challenging moving forward. And going full frame, whether we like it or not, is one possible solution. Whether it's going to work out or not, I don't know. Whether it's going to be a good strategy moving forward for Olympus and OM system, I don't know. Panasonic took the risk. Panasonic joined Sigma and Leica in the L Alliance, and I think they're doing quite okay. In fact, they pushed the technology in the full-frame camera first, including the face detection of the focus before they pour it over to Micro Four Thirds. That shows the parity there, right? So I'm not saying that full-frame is the solution. I'm not saying that we have to go full-frame and full-frame is like the best thing ever and it's going to solve all problems. No, I'm just here to open up this, this discussion. I want to hear your thoughts. I want to hear what you guys think. Is there a place for full frame system for micro four thirds users? How are we going to accept the system? Is it going to play an important role to help the camera company, which is obviously suffering moving forward? It's going to be a long night. So, hey, grab your coffee. I have this new cup of coffee here. I don't know if you can see this. This is the... Um, white color, white lens, uh, Canon lens here. <laughs> I have my coffee in here. I'm gonna sip some coffee first. Mm. I'm gonna say hi to some people first before we dive in too deep. Jen Garcia said hi. Hey Jen, how are you? Thanks for dropping by. Very nice to see you. Always, always nice to see familiar people. Giorgio S said, OM Systems has to keep up with the competition. Either it has to improve its sensor and its possible combinations of computer and lens, or it has to change its strategy. I agree with you. Some things has to change, and they definitely need to step up their game. Giorgio continues to say, otherwise it cannot achieve the photo quality of the full frame. I don't think Micro Four Thirds system is ever going to be able to come close to full frame in terms of photo quality. It's just physics, sensor size being bigger, you get better resolution, dynamic range, high ISO, that's not going to change. But the thing is, I think my biggest complaint about uh, Micro Four Thirds system, both uh, Olympus and Panasonic and now OM Digital Solutions after GIP has taken over Olympus, my biggest complaint is that in terms of sensor technology, the image sensor, we don't see much improvement in the past six or seven years. In fact, whatever we have today from, say, the OM-1, the latest from OM system, as well as whatever we have from Panasonic, even the latest sensor, if you really scrutinize the dynamic range and high ISO performance, it is about the same as what we can get from, say, the EMR Mark II, which was launched in 2016. And that is kind of depressing in a world where everyone else, like Fuji, um, Canon, Sony, Nikon, everyone else, they have progress so far in terms of image sensor uh, improvements, right? 
So I just want to see some improvements in Micro Four Thirds, and we don't see that. Zoltan says, hi. Hey, Zoltan. Thanks for dropping by. Nice to see you. Manila Martin says, hello from Philippines. Hey, Martin. How are you? Jen Garcia says, I think they should instead focus again on good value and budget-friendly options as well as innovation. That is a very good proposition, I think, in terms of value for money. That's what Micro Four Thirds has always been. You pay less, but you get a lot more out of the camera system. And sometimes you don't need the best of the best. You don't need like, the largest camera or the most resolution or the best performing high eyes or, or the fastest burst or autofocus, right? You don't need the best, but you pay less, but you get a lot out of the system. And that's what Micro Four Thirds has always been about. I agree with you. Crypto, fitness, and gaming. Olympus needs to adapt or adapt or disappear. I can't disagree with you. <laughs> Jet Set Journey says, I love Nasi Lemak. I just had Nasi Lemak for dinner. Yeah. Do you guys like that um, cinema light box thing I had in the background? I got that for like 18 ringgit. That's what, four US dollars? <laughs> And shipping was free, so yeah, it's only like four US dollars for that. Hesh Amanro, hi, nice to see you here. Hello from the Isle of Wight, UK. No, I think OM system should concentrate on Micro Four Thirds. How is Full Frame working out for Panasonic? They're still a small player in the market. I'm gonna put this comment uh, in a pause. I'm gonna come back to you, Hesh Amanro. Uh, currently, well, spoilers, spoilers, right? Currently, Panasonic has taken over OM system in terms of market share in the world. So, it's not a bad thing going full frame if you think about it. Actually, Panasonic is doing quite well considering all things. Crypto Fitness and Gaming says they should have a full frame option. Look what Panasonic did. Yeah, Panasonic is they've proven that full frame can coexist with micro four thirds they play both sides and i think they're doing quite well andrew banner says hello hey andrew thanks for dropping by <laughs> okay where were we crypto fitness and gaming say aloha hi Iman also says abam robin <laughs> it's been a while since someone called me abam hey i i don't know now, Ayman, here's the thing. Whenever I'm in like school, because I was born in December, December is my birth month, so I was always like the youngest among my friends, and for whatever reasons, in any societies or, or clubs or any group of friends that I hang out with, I'm always the youngest. So I always call other people Abang instead, right? I, I still don't have friends calling me Abang. So this is quite an interesting thing, having someone calling me that. Crypto Fitness and Gaming says, please bear hug the like. Oh, thank you so much. You're too kind, man. Too kind. Rebirth2526 says, if OM will provide full frame option, then join the Elmount with Leica and Panasonic. Yes, that is one of the points that I'm going to touch on a little bit later. Like, if OM Digital Solutions they are deciding to go full frame, should they be on their own creating a new mount? based on whatever they know, obviously they know how to create lenses and they have been making cameras for forever, right? Or is it a better option to just join the existing L-mount, which the, the big players are Leica, Sigma, and Panasonic? I think both options have their pros and cons, so we're going to talk a bit about that a little bit later. Janice V says, I am using Panasonic Micro Four Thirds and Sony Full Frame. I love both systems. Each has its own strengths and weaknesses. Of course, I'm not denying that full frame cameras will have their benefits. And I'm using Micro Four Thirds as my main workhorse. So I acknowledge that Micro Four Thirds obviously has the advantages as well. In fact, there is no perfect camera. Like anything, anywhere you go, any brand of camera you choose, there's strengths and weaknesses. You just have to work around the weaknesses and optimize the strength to do what you want to do in your photography. Now, here is the thing. The discussion here today is not about whether full frame is better or micro four thirds is better or micro four thirds is good enough. That's not the discussion. The discussion here today is should Olympus or OM system go full frame? Should they at least consider making full frame cameras? And will that benefit the company in terms of business and longevity, right? That's the main discussion. 
Pichu001 says, unless OM system can design a body that can use both micro four thirds lenses and full frame lenses, it will be difficult for the new full frame system to succeed in the market. I disagree. Like when they had the four thirds mount, the original four thirds DSLR, and when they went micro four thirds, you can't just mount the four thirds lenses directly on the micro four thirds camera. They did it anyway, and they completely abandoned the four thirds system. Same with, uh, look at what Sony did multiple times. They had the, uh, the DSLR, the Alpha system, remember the Alpha 100, 200, and Alpha 900. And then they went uh, DSLT, the A77, A99, A57, the translucent mirror where they used completely different mount. And then they went to um, the, the mirrorless, right? They have the NX series, the NX mount, the NX5, NX7. And then they, they changed mount again and they went to uh, the current E mount, the FE mount, right? Which is the current A6000, the A7 series, which is the new E mount. So they have like two to three different mounts over the years and they keep changing mounts and yet people give them the chance. And Sony is one of the best selling camera systems out there today. If you look at what Canon is doing, they have just discontinued the uh, EOS M mount and in favor for the RF mount, right? So yeah, changing system, changing mount, it takes time for people to adapt, but it doesn't mean that, you know, it's not going to happen. And I'm not asking Olympus to abandon Micro Four Thirds. I'm saying that should they go full frame? Full frame could be an option. It can be another channel of uh, camera system for them to tap into. Obviously, the full frame market pie is very large. Why don't they eat into that pie? And I'm not saying that throw away the micro four thirds. Don't look at micro four thirds anymore. Like, why can't micro four thirds exist together with full frame? You know, not looking into that option is kind of like being left out. That's what I thought. Icarus Cheung says, Hi Robin, hey Icarus, thanks for dropping by, nice to see you. Hi Robin, I think Micro Four Thirds has its place. It is more portable while maintaining good quality. However, as both OM and Panasonic's cameras become more and more expensive, full frame becomes more attractive to users. Of course, Micro Four Thirds has its place. I'm not saying that don't use Micro Four Thirds anymore, just abandon Micro Four Thirds and go full frame. No, guys, that is not what I'm talking about here. Don't get me me wrong. I'm always going to be a Micro Four Thirds fan. That's not going to change. Even if I have a full frame camera, I actually have full frame camera. Now I'm, I have this uh, Canon 5D here, this Canon 5D Classic. I still shoot with Micro Four Thirds. Having used full frame cameras, multiple full frame cameras, actually I have uh, the Nikon D600 and I have recently used more modern cameras, right? I've tried the ZF, the Z8 from Nikon. I've tried the Sony A7 series, the A7 IV, A7C. I've tried these cameras. I still come back to Micro Four Thirds. I'm not saying that, oh, when else you go to full frame, then you just completely, you know, like neglect Micro Four Thirds. No, I'm just saying, should Olympus or OM system consider the possibility of trying out the full frame market? I think that's more interesting, right? Christian Augustine says, Hi Robin, hey Christian, thanks for dropping by. Very, very, very happy to see you here. Christian adds, The full frame market is already quite crowded. Not enough R&D power to get there. Look at Fuji. They do APS-C and medium format, let's say small medium format, and doing quite well. Well, I don't think full frame market is crowded. If you look at the chart, I'm going to show you guys uh, the, the market share of the camera industry in a while. I'm going to share what's happening in the market. You'll see that a large chunk of the pie is full frame. So I don't think that it is crowded. I think there's always space for a new player and especially coming from Olympus legacy of knowing how to make cameras and lenses. If they enter the market, I don't think they, uh, they will be losing out. I think there's more to gain. And but cool photography says, no, it's not Olympus anymore. What do you mean? Olympus philosophy has always been about making high quality optics. Olympus philosophy has always been about making small cameras portable, something that's small and yet delivering great Im results, great image quality. Why can't this spirit from what Olympus is be translated to full frame? I don't remember in any of the Olympus philosophy saying that 
once we go full frame, it is not Olympus anymore. That Olympus is against full frame. Like, this is quite a very... I, I don't know, it's quite an exaggeration, right? If you ask me, it's not... Just because Olympus goes full frame, then suddenly it's not Olympus anymore. James Dole Dick says, they mentioned recently that they were working with other companies, perhaps that is in regards to a new sensor. I don't know, hey, they could be working in a lot of different areas. Maybe a smartphone company? Who knows? Andrew Banner says, there are higher resolution micro four thirds sensors out there, but how high can you push a relatively small sensor before they reach peak quality? Yeah, I'm sure there are more advanced and more capable micro four thirds image sensor out there that's not being utilized yet. And I don't know what the reasons are. Maybe the processing power is not there yet, or maybe OMD solutions or Panasonic, they, they are considering the cost that these new sensors are perhaps too expensive expensive for the current market. I don't know, but uh, whatever the reasons are, I'm, I'm quite excited to see what these new sensors can do. And I hope they bring them out soon, hey, rather than later. Norm says, what is the potential of the BSI stack sensor? None. Chris Patmore says, hello, also from IOY. Hey, Chris, thanks for dropping by. Nice to see you here. Rutayan Patro says, hello from Boston. Hey, Rutayan, very nice to see you again. Thanks for dropping by. Terry Day says, OM systems are in one system only. Only other companies like Leica and Hasselblad, I think they should diversify. Maybe join the L Mount Alliance. I believe... Every camera system can have multiple formats, right? Nikon, Sony, and uh, Canon have always had multiple sensor sizes. In fact, at one time, Nikon had three sensor sizes. They had full frame, they had the APS-C size, and they had the one inch sis uh, system, the one uh, system, right? The Nikon J1, V1, and Sony and Canon always had the APS-C and full frame. So I don't think that having just one system uh, is a must for OM system moving forward. Uh, looking at how this having multiple formats work for different companies that can produce different products for different areas of photography needs, I think having more options it's not a bad thing considering that full frame, it's a huge chunk of the market share today. So why don't you go in and pluck that huge pie? <laughs> C-Line says, since Panasonic partnered with Leica for full frame, maybe OM system needs to do the same with Pentax or Ricoh. Well, I don't really know the world of Ricoh or Pentax. They are doing their own things. I don't think they are necessarily interested in advancing the imaging boundaries or technology. <laughs> but uh, joining the L system, the L alliance uh, with Leica and Sigma, I think that's an option that OM system can consider. Sean Max says, full frame pan with L mount would sell decently. I agree. Yeah, having a full frame system and not making the cameras terribly large, like make, make, maybe make them like 20% larger and 20% heavier. I, I think that's, that's doable, right? James says, do you think the lens will remain as sharp as they are today with a higher resolution sensor? Are you referring to micro four thirds? Uh, I think current Micro Four Thirds lenses can resolve up to maybe 50 megapixels. 40, 50 megapixels, no problem. There is a reason why Olympus puts a cap in the high-res shot. If you look at uh, the high-res shot, Olympus sensor is 20 megapixels, right? And then there is a pixel shift. It shifts uh, eight times. It takes eight photographs and then combine it to one. But because it shifts half a pixel pitch every time it moves, so it means that 20 times eight divided by two, technically you get a 80 megapixels raw file after the high-res pixel shift. But Olympus and even now on Digital Solutions in the JPEG file, they capped it at 50 megapixels, 5-0. There's a reason for that. I believe that the capability of the lens may have reached its limit at about 50 megapixels. So 
Yes, the raw file may be showing you 80 megapixels, but the true details that is resolved in each pixel due to the pixel shift method, it could be due to the limitations of the high resolution shot method, the pixel shift, or it could be due to the limitations of the lens uh, capability in rendering the pixels. Uh, it could be both pixel shift and the lens limit that that's why Olympus and OM system cap it. Uh, there is like a hard limit at 50 megapixels. Yes, the, the file is 80 megapixels, but you get the quality that is equivalent to 50. At least Olympus is being honest. Unlike Panasonic, which just says, oh, you get 80 megapixels, right? And I don't think you truly get 80 megapixels if you really compare uh, 80 megapixels to a true 80 megapixels or 100 megapixels image sensor, you can still see that it is falling behind. Norm says, I'll vote to join a common mount if they have made full frame cameras. It makes more sense, right? It's also easier to join whatever is already available. Chris Patmore says, OM should stick with Micro Four Thirds. Their lenses are amazing and compact. I'm not asking OM to abandon Micro Four Thirds. They are sticking with Micro Four Thirds. Like, what's with this, this kind of comments, Chris? Like, I didn't say, oh, OM Digital Solutions should ditch Micro Four Thirds and go full frame. I didn't say that. I'm just saying that Micro Four Thirds, maybe, stay with it. We still have Micro Four Thirds, but why not OM Digital Solutions consider making full frame cameras? What's wrong with that? Like, just because you have a Micro Four Thirds system doesn't mean that you cannot make a full frame system, right? Like, I don't see why they can't do that. Rutayan says, I think marketing in general has convinced most of the non-professionals that full frame is the best. It's hard to convince people otherwise. That is true. Marketing power is uh, working against Micro Four Thirds system. Uh, if you think about it, to fight against Sony and Canon and Nikon, like three companies telling the whole world that full frame is the best. And here Micro Four Thirds trying to come in and say, hey, look at us, you know, with the tiny budget that they have. Of course, it's an uphill battle and you can't win against the bigger companies with much larger budget. If that's the case, why don't you tap into their market? Why don't you take advantage of their marketing? If they say full frame works, they make a full frame camera and sell. Why not? <laughs> All right, before I continue with the comments, I'm going to drink coffee. I'm going to give some updates on what's happening in my life or in the camera world. Yeah, in the camera world. Mm. So what's happening in my life? Last Monday, just a few days ago, I released a new video talking about this lens. This is the 7 Artisans uh, 18mm f6.3 Mark II. Uh, it's a very thin body cap lens. It's the size of a cookie. I talk about this lens in the video. I brought it out for some shutter therapy sessions and I took some really nice photographs with it. I enjoy using this lens and I thought that this lens is better than Olympus body cap lenses because it is made of metal. Olympus lenses are made of plastic and this lens actually has the manual focusing ring full manual focusing ring versus Olympus where if you use Olympus there's like a tiny lever here which is very flimsy very hard to to use so in terms of build quality this is really solid this is full metal definitely better than the rattling uh, cheap plastic that Olympus is using and in terms of uh, operation like using this this lens it's so much easier to manual focus versus uh, using Olympus lenses in terms of optical quality I think it's about the same nothing to shout about you do get some decent images but there are some technical flaws as well. So I thought this was quite interesting and the asking price is about half of what Olympus is asking for. So I thought it's quite a good lens if you want something cheap, something fun, something to play around, something small to just chuck around with your tiny camera like this Olympus Pan EPM1. I thought this 7 Artisans is worth checking out. Not sponsored by the way. And they didn't send me this lens. I bought this lens with my own money. I bought it at about 179 ringgit. That's about maybe 30, 40 US dollars. So it's quite cheap considering all things, all right? Uh, what's happening recently? Wow, a lot has happened. So yesterday, uh, DJI launched the Osmo Pocket 3, and I'm thinking of buying one. My main reason of getting this is to use it as my main camera to do POV video. And currently I'm using an action camera. Currently I'm using this camera. Currently I'm using this DJI Action 2. 
Uh, decent camera, works really well in daylight. It has a small 1 over 1.7 inch sensor, f2.8 lens. I have two complaints though. If the light level drops, uh, the image quality suffers. The video is very, 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 very bad. So I can't do anything in low light. And I do want to do some low light shooting, low light POV videos to show you guys. Uh, and second thing is this uh, action cam has fixed focus. It doesn't have autofocus. Meaning that something like whatever that is uh, half a meter to infinity is in focus. And I can't go close up. So when I use this, this uh, action camera for vlogging or to do my video, when I want to show a product close up, Everything is out of focus. And I have to switch to my phone for that. So that's very inconvenient. So this Osmo uh, Pocket 3 solves the problem. All right, it can shoot in low light because instead of f2.8 lens, it has an f2 lens that's already one stop more light captured. And instead of one over 1.7 inch sensor, it has a one inch sensor that is like infinitely larger. So we are talking about at least two to three stops better dynamic range and even better high ISO performance there already right with the lens and sensor combination larger sensor brighter lens and this has an actual mechanical gimbal which stabilizes the, the movement even better so it works even better in low light so I can't wait uh, I'm definitely buying this whenever it's available I check it's not available in Malaysia yet it's under pre-order I'm not a fan of pre-ordering things when I want to put my money somewhere I want my items so if it's not there I'm not going to give you my money so I hope this is available soon I'm going to buy this I'm going to do some night street POV videos and I can't wait to show you guys uh, go out shoot with my cameras whatever cameras that I have doing night photography using the uh Osmo Pocket 3 to record the environment and to show you what happens around me, in front of me, before I click my shutter button. I thought that's gonna work really well. I've seen sample footages from the DJI uh, Pocket 3 done by other YouTubers, obviously, those who have reviewed with early samples. And the footages in low light looks really, really good. So I'm really excited about this. On a less exciting news, uh, Canon has discontinued the EOS M camera line, uh, which is quite sad. The EFM mount is no more. I thought it was quite interesting. When they started, the, the first EOS M camera was quite slow. I think it was the M1. It was very, very slow. But over the years, like when the M5 and the M6 was launched, these cameras were actually quite decent. Yeah, I actually thought that in terms of mirrorless APS-C, they were a little bit ahead of the curve at that time. In terms of autofocus, they were faster than Fuji at that time, of course. And they, they were doing things really well. It's just that they don't have a lot of lens options. Uh, obviously, they didn't pour a lot of R&D resources into this. And now, with the latest uh, RF mount, which obviously they are pushing, it doesn't make sense for the EOS M to to exist together alongside with the RF. So in favor uh, for the RF, the discontinued the EOS M doesn't make sense to have two conflicting APS-C uh, mounts. They obviously can't fit on each other. So to avoid confusion, obviously Canon went on and have the RF mount. Kind of sad though, I kind of liked, I've reviewed the M6 before and I've reviewed some EFM lenses before, the 22 F2. I thought it was quite a good lens. I brought it out to shoot the Deepa Valley a few years ago uh, the M6 I brought it to Kuching I did some street photography in Kuching I did a review I published my review this was before you, my YouTube time right I thought these cameras are excellent I thought I enjoyed them it's just too bad that um, uh, Canon has abandoned the mount kind of sad though <laughs> well now, before I dive into the main topic, before I share my thoughts on whether Olympus or OM system should go to full frame, let's read some comments. I'm getting a little bit behind. There's a lot of you here. All right, Dylan says, OM system should have, uh, would have to join the L mount and or offer a fixed lens compact to start. Retro futuristic design and computational features are the way. Yeah, joining L mount is definitely a, a feasible solution. Andrew Galloway. Hey, Andrew. Nice to see you here. Thanks for dropping by. Olympus OM system should go medium format. Now, let's not jump the gun because medium format is a very niche market. Like in comparison to full frame, let's say that, you know, you can sell 1,000 full frame cameras. Maybe you can only sell one or two medium format cameras. And in the current shape of uh, the company, OM Digital Solutions, they are in no position to make a medium format system. 
Chris says, OM system is still too new to gamble with the new camera system. Once they have the budgets of Sony or Panasonic, it may be an option. Well, they were bigger than Panasonic once. They had more budget than Panasonic. And recently, Panasonic has caught up. How did Panasonic catch up? They went full frame. <laughs> Denise Dimenez says, Yes, OM system should go big, very big. I'd love to see a medium format that could challenge Fuji and Hasselblad. But you see, in terms of quantity, in terms of sales numbers, these medium format cameras, they are not moving. It's not the kind of format that anyone can afford. They should target the mass market, right? I mean, in terms of business, if they want to survive. And the perfect middle ground to reach out or to to tap into a larger pool of, of, of available pile, right? Available buyers, uh, willing customers is full frame. Like, you know, you have full frame market, people will pay attention to Olympus or OM system if they make a full frame camera and existing micro four thirds system users will also consider whatever that Olympus or OM system is doing. So yeah, I don't think medium format is a solution. Dylan says the market is already carved up about as much as it can be. Panasonic only got share by offering more value for money. And isn't that what we want at the end of the day? as a customer, value for money. And if Panasonic can offer it, and if they are doing well after they offer value for money, shouldn't OM Digital Solutions do the same? James says, I think they should simplify rather than diversify further. For example, I'm not sure they still need an EM10 equivalent. Camera phone has taken that market. They still need a high resolution sensor though. Diversifying is not a bad thing, considering where the money is. OM Digital Solutions or Panasonic or Olympus, right? They have been around for 10 years, more than 10 years. Like the first Micro Four Thirds camera was 2009, 2008, 2009, right? So they've been around for 15 years. If they cannot dominate the market, if they are still doing so badly now, don't you think that the problem is not necessarily... OM Digital Solutions or Panasonic, the problem could be the format. Simplifying it further will not solve the problem because the format itself is not popular, right? <laughs> John Glass says, the problem with adding full frame to the lineup is that they are a small company without a vast resources of larger companies. I would be concerned that if they try it, it will be their undoing. It could, you can see in this way, either they go in and they, they, they tried the full frame route and they didn't make it or they don't try the full frame route and they don't make it. Look at it this way. They're not doing well. OM Digital Solutions as a company is not doing well. What else can they do? You know, whatever that Olympus has done in the past 10, 15 years since their first Micro Four Thirds camera in 2009, whatever they've done, they have already tried and they still have not succeeded. And yet they got carved out and bought over by a new company. Whatever they've tried, they have tried. What else is there? You have got to admit, full frame is not a bad option at this point. <laughs> Santix, hi, nice to see you. How is Kajang? Olympus shouldn't make full frame, it is counterproductive. They can make medium format. Okay, so you have two options here, right? Make full frame or make medium format. Be honest here, Santix. If Olympus makes a full frame camera and if Olympus makes a medium format camera, how many people will buy the medium format camera and how many people will buy the full frame camera? Okay, medium format camera is easily gonna cost 30,000 ringgit, minimum. Right? Full frame camera, they can sell for 8,000 ringgit, 10,000 ringgit. And as an average Malaysian with our, the kind of level of income that we earn here, are you seriously going to think that going medium format, asking people to pay 30,000 ringgit to start just body itself? We're not even talking about lenses, just body. Are you going to... Are you seriously thinking this is a good solution for all digital solutions? <laughs> I think it's a very poor business strategy, if you ask me. 
Norm says, when I bought my first film camera back in 1974, it was the smallest 35mm camera available. Whatever OMS does, that should remain true to that philosophy. That's true. They can still make full frame camera and still be true to their own philosophy, whatever that Maitani has set for them in the past, in the spirit of Maitani, right? Making it small, making it accessible, making it a camera that inspires people to pick up and go out and shoot. Making it small without compromising image quality or performance. I'm sure they can do it. That's what Olympus has always been, right? Andrew Bennett says, heck, Olympus made small 35mm SLRs, provide, proving that an SLR didn't have to be so large. Maybe they could prove the same thing again with a 35mm sensor. It's all about shrinking technology. That's what I'm talking about. Andrew, finally someone understood what I'm trying to say here. Ah... Sante says, three times of the micro filter sensor size, which is the medium format that Hasselblad uses. No, Santix, do the calculations again. A full frame sensor is already four times the size of a micro filter sensor. Hot UMU Pix says, I'd love to see Olympus make cinema lenses. Just an idea. Now, I think cinema. Okay, unlike. Canon, Sony, or Panasonic, especially Sony and Panasonic, they have background in broadcasting, they make DVDs, they mass produce televisions, they, even Sony is involved in filmmaking, right? It's Sony Pictures. Uh, Olympus or OMD Solutions, they don't have the expertise in making cinema products. And going into that is going to be suicide. What they have, the expertise when it comes to Olympus legacy is making cameras and great lenses. No one is denying that Olympus lenses are fantastic. Leveraging on the strength, knowing how to make amazing cameras, making the camera small, delivering fantastic performance, coupled with really sharp and compact lenses, they can make amazing full frame system. I can see this happen in Olympus or on digital solutions. C-Line says, I think OM system needs an innovation like global shutter more than a full frame body. If global shutter can be done, don't you think that someone would have done it already? It doesn't even need to be OM digital solutions. Right? It can be anyone, people with larger resources like Sony or Canon. Like, Why isn't there a global shutter yet? Wow. This is a very interesting name. La Fleur Wonder says, fully agree, Panasonic still maintain different sensor size. Like I said, like micro filters can exist alongside full frame, right? Carl Richard says, hi Robin, hey Carl, very nice to see you. Sorry I'm late. Oh, no need to apologize. I'm just very happy you're here. Hope you're well. I'm doing fine. I'm doing really, really fine. Satik says, make a new large four thirds, new four thirds format, which is three times the micro filters size. Go and do your calculation again. Full frame, the 35mm sensor is already four times the size of micro four thirds sensor. <laughs> Icarus Cheung says, more choice is always good to us. However, Sony Canon Nikon has more much resources on R&D. OM to make a new type of sensor is quite risky. They need to develop a whole ecosystem. Yeah, either they risk it and restart everything revamp everything, right? Start from scratch, or they can just join an existing mount, the L mount, right? So think of it this way, making cameras is not as complicated as it used to be. Say that Olympus or OM system joins the L mount. All they have to do is just buy whatever sensor that Panasonic or Sony is making. Obviously they don't make their own sensor, duh. So just buy whatever existing sensor, use the L mount, L mount is already there, whatever is made by the Panasonic, Leica, or Sigma, right? And make their own lenses to be compatible with L mount. They are the lens expert. They can make whatever lens that they want to make. So sensor is there, the mount is there, they can make the lens. I don't see why this is so difficult. <laughs> All right, before we move on too far, I want to share some very troubling news. I don't know if you guys have uh, followed the camera sales news recently. So this camera sales news obviously is from Japan, the Nikkei market. It is the data about camera shipment, uh, how many cameras that are being shipped out of Japan throughout the whole world, right? We have the breakdown of the percentage and this data was uh, taken in September. 
So this was last month's data, the market share overview. Just take a moment to let this graphic sink in. Look at the overall breakdown. Canon is about almost 50% of the market. Of course, Canon, this is worldwide data, yeah? Sony is about 26%, and Nikon 11%, Fuji about 5%, Fuji and Panasonic is about the same, 5-4%. Notice something missing? OM Digital Solutions is not even in the list. And if you look at it further, based on the article that I read, the rest of the 5%, 5.7% is owned by multiple small brands, including OM System, Hasselblad, Pentax, and others. So those of you wanting to go medium format, think again. Medium format in terms of market share, in terms of volume, takes up about less than 5%. Even less than 4%, because if you're 4%, right? If you look at the previous market share, if you're 4%, you're already up there with Panasonic. So minimum format is less than 4%, and it's about the same market share as OM system. Now, two things here. One, OM system or OM digital solutions is in trouble. They are in serious, serious, serious trouble. Whether you want to admit it or not, they are at the lowest of low at the moment. I'm just telling the facts, right? When OM Digital Solutions came out, or the, uh, when the, uh, what you call that, GIP, Japan Industrial Partners, bought over Olympus, or they carved out the imaging company, and then we have OM System cameras, right? I understand that, you know, things are not easy. It takes time for the market to adapt. You know, people need time to uh, look how they are doing, but, it has been years. It has been two to three years now, right? They were bought over in the year 20, 2021, 2020, 2021, and now it's 2023. So it's about two to three years already, almost three years now. We have a few cameras out. We have OM1, we have OM5, we have several lenses. We have 150 to 400, we have 90 macro, we have 20 f1.4, we have uh, several lenses out, several cameras out. And to say that, you know, they're not doing anything is also not true. They have been doing a lot. They are trying their best. But the truth is, the hard truth is, they are suffering. And they have never been as low as they have now before. They are at the rock bottom, right? And you know, I know some of you are suggesting that, hey, why don't you try medium format? That's not a solution. Look at the medium format share. It's almost nothing. <laughs> so ask them to risk the resources to go medium format. That is not going to do well. But look, look, look at the market share again. Canon, Sony, Nikon. Look at these three market share. Of course, I know that Canon is not 100% uh, full frame. Sony is not 100% full frame. Nikon is not 100% full frame, right? But Canon, Nikon, and Sony, they make up to about 80% if I calculate correctly, 80, 85% or more of the market share, right? And out of this 85%, I'm sure 40, 50% of it is full frame. So what I'm saying is this existing full frame market, yes, some people say, oh, it's so many players already. Everyone is making full frame camera. It's oversaturated. True. But that's where the market is. That's where the money is. That's where people are buying. And if full frame can get into such a large chunk of the pie, if they can make it successful, and even Panasonic, right? You know, they were actually below Olympus for the longest time. Fuji was also below Olympus, right? If Panasonic can jump up because they went full frame, why? shouldn't OM Digital Solutions consider it? I think it's a very, very possible solution. <laughs> Just keep this graphic in your mind for a while. Just think, look at this, look at this and, and look for a while. And then I'll come back uh, and explore the two options, right? One is Olympus going full frame and the other side is Olympus don't go full frame, just stay with micro four thirds. I will share my thoughts, uh, the pros and cons, what happens if they do that, now, obviously, it's all just predictions, my assumptions, my educated guess, right? I'm going to explore these possibilities in a little bit. So now I'm going to drink some coffee and we're going to read your comments. Hmm. All right. 
Afi Creative says if Olympus went the Panasonic format, full frame and micro full thirds, use the L mount too. Yeah, definitely. L mount is one of the solutions that uh, Olympus can look into. Oof Loon says hello. Hey Oof, so nice to see you. Thanks for dropping by. Christian Augustine says if Olympus or OM Digital Solutions could keep full frame lenses really small, I will be interested. But if they do what Panasonic did, humongous lenses on L mount, they will not get their fair share of the full frame market. That is true. And Olympus or OM Digital Solutions, they have the expertise in making lenses. Panasonic, they don't really have that know how. Olympus, they have been making amazing lenses. I mean, they are making lenses and cameras that goes into people's bodies that save lives every single day. That's what the parent Olympus company is doing, the medical company, right? Lenses and cameras that goes into bodies. The doctors use them for surgeries, for inspections in the body and stuff like that, right? Things that I don't even understand. <laughs> I'm not a medical professional, but these are the cameras and lenses that they have cutting edge bleeding cutting edge technology that actually save lives so you know if they can do that i'm sure they can make full frame lenses really small huris serafin says stick with micro folders instead of dividing their limited resources now if you have look at what i've shared just now they have reached rock bottom i don't see how much lower they can get if they go any lower if they suffer any more losses i don't think <laughs> there's any more resources to divide <laughs> so you know it's like it's time now that there's nothing to lose anymore right like going full frame is a possible solution i will discuss this a little bit later it may not be a bad option like what else is there for them to lose you know it's like either they do something now or they die no literally they are like they are not in a good shape. I don't know if you guys have been paying attention or not. OM Digital Solutions, they are not doing well. And, you know, people are keep telling me, Robin, you know, OM1 is selling out everywhere. OM1 is doing so well. OM1 is wild. Like, guys, I've said this many, many, many times. OM1 is not enough to save the company. They need to do more. Icarus Cheung says, joining l -Mount is more logical. That's true. It is definitely one of the more logical solutions. I don't disagree with you. Andrew Banner says, I fancy an OP3? <laughs> Long term OP? What the hell is OP? I, are you talking about EP? EP3 or EP2? Okay. Don Kaluga says, Olympus must join L Mount Alliance. Yeah, that is one of the possible solutions for them to explore. Denise D2705 says, Hi from Canada. Hi, Denise. Thanks for dropping by. You are one of my preferred YouTubers. Thank you so much. Thanks for your support. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you joining in the stream. Please share your thoughts. Exploring with Rotten Fish. Hey, how are you? Nice to see you again. Hi, Robin. How are you? I'm good. Very good. Very happy to be here. And very excited to share my thoughts about uh, what if Olympus or should OM system join full frame. GG Wildlife says, Awesome One Pocket 3 will be awesome for your stream. I'm looking forward to that one. I wouldn't want to use it for my stream. Like, what's wrong with my stream setup? Is this not good enough? Like, is the resolution not good enough? Is the bokeh not good enough? Like, why would I want to use uh, the Osmo Pocket 3 as a streaming camera. I thought my camera is doing fine. In case you're wondering, it is the OM1. <laughs> Anthony says, I think it is time for OM systems to consider making a full frame digital camera available or a small medium format system. I don't think medium format is a good solution. Looking at how medium format is like less than 5% in the market, maybe even less than 2 or 1%. You know, so if Olympus OM system goes in and make a medium format camera, I don't think it will sell. But looking at Canon, Nikon and Sony making up 85% of the market, and obviously they push the full frame, why not tap into that market? Because obviously they can sell, right? Chris says, I'm still hoping OM system will make a new mechanical OM film camera. There's a big market there. No, film camera is dying. Like... 
I've had this discussion with a lot of people. Some people keep telling me, Robin, film is the next big thing. Like, Robin, film is all the rage now. Like, I don't see it. Because first of all, film is getting more and more expensive and it's harder to find. And second of all, a lot of people going into film these days, they are not from the previous generation. Like, people who have shot film, who have done it professionally or as a hobbyist, like they have done film seriously, once they have switched to digital, they never look back. They say that it is so much better, you know, digital is so much more convenient, you don't have to go through all the trouble, all the problems, all the inconveniences that they've had during the film time. Now, those who are doing film now, they've never done film before, they just want to relive the nostalgia they never had. They want to experience film because they think that film is what true, pure form of photography is. Well, not a problem. Of course, it's good for you to explore film. If you've never done it, then go and try it out. But here's the problem. Trying out is not enough. So when they try film, okay, it's fun for a while. But because their passion is not about photography, they just want to play film for fun. When, when the fun is not derived from photography itself, the art or the craft of making images, right? The fun is derived from the medium itself. It's not going to last. You've tried these film cameras for a few months, for half a year, and they get bored. You know, between me and my, a lot of my friends, a lot of them, they say, hey, Robin, try film. I said, no. You know, that was like seven, eight years ago. And I don't see them sh touching a camera ever again. They touch the film camera for half a year, one year, and they get bored of the, f the film. And here I am, still shooting, going on strong. You know why? Because my passion is not about camera. My passion is not about film. My passion is about photography. It's more than the medium that you're shooting on. Like to me, I don't care whether you shoot digital. I don't care if you wanna use a smartphone. I don't care if you wanna use film. What I do care is your passion being in the right place. It's your heart in the right place. So if you are a true photographer, you will love photography. You will love the act of going out to shoot regardless of whether it's film or not. So from my observation, from what's happening around me, film is dead. Like seriously, film is dead. Gordon says, hi Robin, always enjoy these live sessions. Thanks Gordon for dropping by. Very nice to see everyone here. By the way, I see the Four Thirds rumors says that they have Panasonic planning to release G100 Mark II, 25 megapixels micro Four Thirds sensor, uh, 779 point, uh, face detection of focus, 4K and so and so. Nice if it's true. Well, I just hope that this time, they included image stabilization. <laughs> Raphael says, Olympus full frame, yes, with uh, f1.4 compact and zoom f2 compact, uh, 14, 16 bits and maximum 30 megapixels, ISO 2800, exceptional. Yeah, we do need like um, compact lenses. Hey, it doesn't make sense to make small cameras but have like humongous size lenses. And in terms of high ISO, of course, it's a full frame sensor. Of course, it's gonna be amazing. All right, we are a little bit behind comment. I'll try my best to catch up. One man band says they should stick to what they know and are good at. What they know and are good at, making cameras, making lenses, right? It doesn't matter what medium they're making. It can be a smartphone. It can be an APS-C camera. It can be a medium format camera. It can be a full frame camera. Olympus OM system, they know and they are really good at making great cameras and lenses. Don't we all agree on that? <laughs> Anthony says, I personally think it's actually cheaper at this time to manufacture full frame sensors over micro four thirds sensor because manufacturers are making more full frame sensors for the market, like the camera market. Right? Like in terms of manufacturing point of view, in terms of uh, making camera, right, the cost, it's, it makes sense. And if you are making full frame cameras, you don't have to spend too much resources in marketing them as well because all you have to say is, is full frame and people will buy it, right? So manufacturing point of view, marketing point of view, it makes sense, right, to go full frame. Anthony says a micro filter sensor is more expensive because it's a specialty sensor for very few cameras. That is very true. Matt says cheaper sensor, massive cost to launch product and lens range for a new system. Time to recoup that cost will be a while on its own. I don't think there is a massive cost to launch a product. 
since you just launch a product, right? All you have to do is just shout out to the media. Uh, cheaper sensor, yes. Full frame sensors, definitely they are getting cheaper. Uh, lens range, they can tap into the existing L Alliance mount, the L mount from Leica, from Panasonic and Sigma. So they don't have to make everything. They can release a few lenses. And if people want other lenses, they can buy from Sigma or Panasonic. Or if you have more money, they can buy from Leica, right? Uh, so that's not a problem. Gordon says, always thought uh, M6 Mark II is underrated. Maybe some good deals if the few lenses work for you. Sigma made some nice ones. Here's the thing. I checked the market. Man, they are really expensive. Like the M5, M6, they are so expensive. Like I would have bought some and make like videos, right? If they are cheap, but they are not. Anthony says, unfortunately, OM Systems has put all the eggs in one basket. That's the problem, right? Like, you know, Sony or Canon or Nikon, at least they have they, they diversify and they can play around with different areas of their products, right? And they can make things work. Nicole says, hi, Robin. Hey, Nicole. Thanks for dropping by. Nice to see you here. How are you? I am good. Perhaps the question has already been asked. If OM system changed sensor format, does this necessarily imply a new lens mount? Yes. If they were to go full frame, obviously the current micro four thirds uh, mount is too small to support larger full frame image circle. One option that they can tap into would be to join the L Alliance or they can just start from scratch and design their own mount. Terry Day says, OM systems are involved in other markets outside photography. One of the managers told me but could not reveal what they are doing. Top secret. <laughs> of course, they are involved with, with other markets. Santik says, OM system not doing their marketing well. It is not them not doing their marketing well. It is them not having enough marketing funds. Sun Yuan says, full frame like Panf and small lens as Leica. That's true. Like, I'm sure they can make it. Anthony says, I want to see an all new Pro OM2 with a minimum of 24 or 26 megapixels of resolution with a BSI stack sensor or better technology that's in the current OM1 professional camera. Like, I don't care what sensor they put in it, BSI or whatever technology it can be a Sigma for Vion sensor, for all I care, or anything, right? Or a CCD sensor if they can find one. Uh, all I care is progress. I want to see improvement in dynamic range like make it one stop better than om1 or whatever that we have now and i want to see improvement in high iso performance make it one stop better you see like when olympus released the em5 the first omd if you compare with ep3 the previous camera there is clearly more than one stop better dynamic range one stop high iso performance clearly a significant jump not to mention resolution bump right from 16 megapixels sorry from 12 to 16 and then we have the em1 mark 2 if you compare em1 mark 2 to em1 mark mark 1 the original or the em5 clearly the high iso jump again another one stop and clearly the dynamic range at least one stop better and from 16 to 20 megapixels so you see like from ep3 to em5 we have huge improvement from em5 to em1 mark 2 of course em1 was launched like half a year after em5 so i'm not expecting that huge of a jump but at least three years later when we have em1 mark 2 we have like significant jump of image quality again and then it stopped there <laughs> it just stopped there like that, that there's no improvement whatsoever until today so like i don't care whatever they put in it i just want improvement dynamic better dynamic range better high eyes so i will be so happy Masih says, Hi Robin, what's your thoughts about Lumix G100 Mark II coming up soon? Well, I just have to wait for it to come up first. Then I'll give you my thoughts. Anthony says, How about if OM Systems, if they brought out a full frame camera, went with the Z mount instead of teaming up, instead teaming up with Nikon? Uh, I don't think Nikon likes to share. Same with Sony, same with Canon. I don't think they are the sharing type of people. So that's not going to happen. Anthony says, I really think they should do the same thing as Fuji has done instead of going full frame, go small, medium format. No, like look at the look at the market share. It's really, 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 really bad, right? And even Fuji is not doing well. Like if you look at the market share, Fuji is like only 5%. They are also in trouble. Like seriously, Fuji is not doing well. I'm, I'm saying that Micro Four Thirds is in trouble. Sorry, I'm saying that... Um, OM Digital Solutions or Olympus, right? They are like at the rock bottom. But if you really look at Fuji, they are not doing well. So copying what they do is not going to improve things. 
Donald says, I think a problem about the cells is from OM5. They aren't even changing the micro USB to USB-C. Yes. It's a combination of everything. Hey, it's not just the OM5. OM1 is also a problem. They have a lot of issues. OM5 and even the lenses, they are getting like larger and more expensive. So it's a combination of different few factors. Andrew says, Robin, that market share graphic has one thing in common. The top five all make cameras full frame as well as crop sensor mounts. Yep. So why can't uh, OMG Solutions make a full frame mount if everyone else can make full frame mount? Norm says, I shoot many subjects, landscape, street, wildlife, macro, etc. My EM1 Mark III supports and manages to meet my style. Of course. Now, don't get me wrong, Norm. Like, me suggesting... OM Digital Solutions to go full frame has nothing to do with Micro Four Thirds being good enough or not. I am one of the biggest supporters of Micro Four Thirds. I am still here to tell you that I love Micro Four Thirds and I still use Micro Four Thirds for all my jobs. I still use Micro Four Thirds for my personal projects and I believe that Micro Four Thirds has its place in the market and I personally believe that Micro Four Thirds is more than sufficient to get the job done and I'm delivering great results for my clients. It's more than good enough, like what you said. But that doesn't mean that OM Digital Solutions should not explore full frame because they are in trouble. Dear Micro Photos cameras, they are good enough, definitely, but they are not selling. If they continue on with this path, if they don't do anything soon, they will die. I am not joking, right? There's a difference between knowing the camera is, not, is good enough and there's a difference in knowing that the camera is not selling and quickly strategizing to do something to save the company, right? And it's just being an obvious solution. Going full frame is one possible solution. Andrew says, those percentages make it look bleak, but niche operators do very well in many markets. Sony will overtake Canon at some point. I'm surprised that Nikon is so small. I don't think it's trouble though. No, Nikon is not in trouble. Uh, obviously, they're doing quite okay. Canon and Sony, they're dominating the market. But being less than 4%, in the market, you know, after two to three years, 4%, less than 4%. If that is not in trouble, I don't know what is, man. I don't know what is. Like what? Are you saying 1%? Then you should worry? I mean, it's not even in the list anymore. <laughs> Gordon says, in the world of cars, I think a Porsche is roughly 3%. I would say they are doing very well. Porsche is doing well, but can you honestly tell me that OM Digital Solutions is doing well. <laughs> Jen says, OM needs better sensors. I agree. I'll be says, off topic question, thoughts on the D DJI Osmo Pocket 3. I think I just shared my thoughts. Uh, I don't have it yet, but I intend to buy one when it's available. It's already now open for pre-orders. I don't want to pre-order anything. Uh, I don't like to put money where I can't get my products. So if I spend money, I want my products now. Uh, initial thoughts. I like that it has F2 lens. I like that it has one inch sensor and it has a mechanical gimbal. So I'm going to use this for my POV shooting, mostly for making vlogging videos. And I want to the first thing I'm going to do once I get this uh, Pocket 3 is to go out at night and do some low-light POV shooting. That's something that I cannot do with my current uh, action camera. This is the DJI Action 2. Uh, it gives horrible night footages, low-light footages. So once I get that Pocket 3, I'm going to just go out and do some low-light POV and I can't wait to do that. I love shooting low-light and I want to show that Micro Four Thirds can handle low-light. It's something that a lot of people are allergic to somehow. Once they look at the noise, I'm like, come on, like seriously, you know, so this is one, one of the things that I want to do once I get it. Mati Sulanto, hey, how are you? Now I want a full portion of Nasi Lama. <laughs> Mati, I'm sure you're going to get some soon. Yeah, you're fixed, Nasi Lama fixed. Brandon says, hi Robin, hi Brian, thanks for dropping by. I didn't realize you have a live talk tonight. So follow me on all my social medias. I've announced this on my YouTube, Facebook, IG. So if you have not followed any of my social media, please do so. That's where I announced this. I actually announced this like two days in advance. So yeah, stay notified, stay updated. Then you know when I'm go gonna go live. 
Ayim Hassan says numbers for Lumix may be small, but Lumix CEO has said that they're okay with those numbers because they're making money on their cameras. OM should take the risk and go small full frame with great design. Yes. Well, at least Lumix has 4.2% in the market. OM Digital Solutions, we don't even know. Like for all we know, perhaps OM Digital Solutions has only like 0.5% of the market share, right? It's not even big enough to be reported. So of course Lumix is doing fine. Exploring with Rotten Fish says, for me, Olympus for full frame sensor, not now, but in the future, yes. Just like micro photo sensor making great at this moment with additional face detection of the focus and high megapixel would be more fun. Now here's the thing. I believe that OM Digital Solutions has hit rock bottom. Like, there's no more low to go. They can't go any lower. If they go any lower, they're just going to disappear altogether. Like, they're not even in the list. Panasonic has 4.2%. It means that they are less than 4.2%. They're lumped together with Pentax and Hasselblad in that 5.7%, right? All I know is maybe they're only 1% to 2% of the market share. 1%, 2%. If they go any lower, what's going to happen? There's no future for full frame. So now, exploring full frame, it's not a bad thing, if you ask me. Right? It's like, how else? Where else can they go? Andrew Banner says, uh, talking to Christian, I doubt the physics of having to project a 35mm image can be shrunk much more. You'll be surprised. I have faith that uh, OM Digital Solutions know what they're doing and they can do miracles. Joe Pritz says, sorry, but Olympus has fallen. Yeah, Olympus indeed has fallen, right? That's why we have OM system now. At Blue 13 says, hey, Robin. Hey, thanks for dropping by. Nice to see you here. Working now, but wanted to stop by and say thanks for all the encouragement and inspiration to get out and take more photographs. Oh, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm glad that you are here. And please don't, don't watch if you can't. Please continue your work. Uh, please don't get in trouble because of this stream. I, d I don't want to get anyone in trouble. Andrew says, uh, Robin Osmo Pocket OPR. Ah, okay. <laughs> ah, that, that makes sense. That makes much more sense. In terms of Pocket 2, Pocket 3, yeah, I've, I've never used any of the uh, Osmo Pocket cameras before, so I can't share any thoughts. Brian says, Today I found out that uh, YOLO LIV joining Micro Four Thirds Consortium. Hmm, what do they do? I've never heard of them. Marciage says, If Lumix can go full frame and keep heritage with great Micro Four Thirds, then Olympus can do it too. That's exactly my thought. Like, people here, a lot of them, like, immediately says, No, don't go full frame, you know, like, Micro Four Thirds is enough. Like, you know, we should stay in Micro Four Thirds. Like, yeah, Micro Four Thirds is good enough. We should stay with Micro Four Thirds. I'm not asking anyone to give up on Micro Four Thirds. I don't think uh, OM Digital Solutions should give up on Micro Four Thirds. That would be suicide, right? But why can't they go full frame? Why can't they explore making full frame cameras, right? This is like what Panasonic did. Christian says uh, to Andrew Banner, they did it in the past. The problem is not 35 millimeters image circle. It is extreme quality demands that are nowadays in effect, easier with micro photo sensors. And uh, there's the catch when going full frame. That is true. But I think in terms of sensor technology, in terms of optical design, things have improved so much over the years. Like maybe five, even five years ago, there are a lot of things that we can't do today. Like look at what, uh, I don't have the lens with me today, what the Panasonic is doing with the 9mm f1.7. I thought that was a miracle lens. It is so small, so compact, and it's ultra wide, 9 millimeters, and it has bright aperture f1.7, and the image quality is excellent. So, you know, like, maybe five years ago or 10 years ago, that lens would have been, like, three times larger, five times heavier, and four times more expensive, just saying. Andre says, full frame is an overcrowded market, but hey, I still definitely like the digital version of OM1, OM2 film SLR. That's one good-looking compact camera. I don't think it's overcrowded. Overcrowded means that there is no room for growth, right? Because it's already full. But look at the market share. I'm just going to bring out the market share screen again. Look at the market share. Canon, Sony, Nikon, Panasonic, they all make up to what, 85, 90%? 85% of the market. Of course, they are not all full frame. I'm just saying. Obviously, Sony, Nikon, Canon, they also make FPS-C cameras. But I'm just saying, right? The market is obviously leaning towards full frame. And if the largest chunk of pie is full frame, why don't we take a bite of that chunk? 
<laughs> Why not? Norm says, if OM Digital Solutions fails, I'll better start buying some quality used Olympus bodies. I don't think they will fail. I don't think they will give up so soon. I don't think they will give up without a fight. I'm just asking the possibility of why not? They explore full frame. You know, that could be a good solution, right? Lit1 says, quite a lot of Canon's sales are leftover entry-level DSLRs in inventory that have low profit margins. It will be interesting to see the mirrorless sales data. I think Nikon sells more Zs than Canon R. Yeah, I don't have the mirrorless data at the moment. Uh, and I don't think Nikon Zs sell more than Canon R. That is definitely not happening. Uh, Sony's mirrorless selling more than Canon, that is a possibility. Jetta says micro four thirds will become, will become, hmm. incomplete sentence there. Dono says, yes, Robin, OM1 is good, but the problem is OM1 is not good enough to make people pay for it. Even OM5 is in the same situation. They are good, but not the one you will pay for. Then OM Digital Solutions is in trouble. If people are not willing to pay for the cameras, then the market share just keep dropping and dropping and dropping. They're not making enough sales, not enough profit. How is the company going to keep going? Right, and that's why I'm here to suggest or to discuss what are the possible strategies moving forward. Santik says micro four thirds is seventeen point three times thirteen. Three times will be no man, dude. You, <laughs> dude, your mathematics need some work. Um, cal calculate the surface area. Just pull up any full frame sensor. Surface area versus micro four thirds. The surface area of full frame camera is four times larger than micro four thirds. That is a fact, man. Like, <laughs> please, please, just, just, just drop it. Lumiere says, I think that Olympus can bring innovation to full frame by introducing their unmatched uh, in body image stabilization and affordable lenses to the market. This could attract attention. That is true. Like, bring whatever expertise that they already have and bring it to full frame and make it truly competitive and make it very, very good value for money, make the pricing really, really uh, irresistible, right? Good pricing, good value for money, great performance. That's how you compete in the full frame market. La Flor Wonder says, love your work, Robin. Big fan from Canada. Thank you so much. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you. Wish Olympus would do new camera, very portable, almost like the Fuji X100V, but with a smaller size and AP8 with optical viewfinder. Yeah, that's one possible way of exploring, but these cameras are also very niche. Uh, like Panasonic LX100 isn't doing well. And as much as we want to say, wow, you know, Fuji is doing so well, right? It doesn't mean that if... OM Digital Solutions is doing it now, it will sell well. It's just one of our wish lists. I also wish similar camera exists with Micro Four Thirds. But the current more pressing issue is that Micro Four Thirds is not doing well. In terms of market share, they are at the rock bottom. Like if they go any lower, they'll just disappear altogether from the market, right? So what are the things that they can do? So here, one of the solutions is to go full frame. And we are discussing that here. Terry says, hello Robin, hey Terry, if OM were to falter, I hope not, I'm knee deep in the products, same here. <laughs> How do you think that would impact Panasonic Micro Four Thirds sales? Would it help or hamper? Thanks for all your efforts. If OM Digital Solutions just decided to exit the market altogether and abandon Micro Four Thirds, obviously Panasonic will abandon it sooner or later. It takes two of them to work side by side to keep it afloat, right? Uh, and the great thing about Micro Four Thirds is we have lens selections from Olympus and Panasonic, and Panasonic is uh, the leader when it comes to video technology, and then obviously uh, Olympus brings a lot to the table. So both of them existing in the same ecosystem, it makes Micro Four Thirds such a great system. If one of them disappears, especially Olympus or OM Digital Solutions, that is going to be very bad for business. And I don't think Panasonic is in a, position to keep it afloat by themselves. Vid 3 North says they should talk to Nikon. The Nikon numbers are not where they need to be right now. If Olympus licensed Nikon's mount, the two companies together would give more confidence. Nah. They are not in a sharing kind of mood, I guess. Like Nikon, Canon, Sony, Olympus, they don't they don't share things with each other. 
Christine says uh, talks to Santic. Size is about area, not axis. Yeah, that's why that was what I was talking about. Kitty says, I agree, film is not going to come back. It's still there for those who love the slow process of it. And of course, the resulting image. But in no way, film is the future. Yes. If you love film, by all means, go ahead. I don't care what medium you're shooting. Photography is photography. Show me a good photograph, then we talk. I don't care if it's taken with a smartphone or a compact camera or film. It doesn't really matter. Robin Sheffield says, Micro Four Thirds feels the same niche Leica originally filled. A small camera with small lenses. Some of us still want that. Now, do we want Micro Four Thirds to just be a niche product? Or do we want Micro Four Thirds to thrive? Because I believe Micro Four Thirds, or at least the companies behind it, right, like Panasonic and OMD Solutions, I believe they can do a lot more than what they are doing currently. And I believe they can go a lot further. And I do want to see Micro Four Thirds go far. But currently, in the current situation, the combination of Olympus and Panasonic is not even 5% of the market share. Micro Four Thirds is not even 5% of the market share. And they are not going far. And I don't want them to go niche because unlike Leica, they sell one camera that can make huge profit margin. Micro Four Thirds or any of the cameras from Panasonic and OM system, they are not in that same category at all. <laughs> Norm says, and over time, film is very expensive. That is true. Pinnacle Pete. Hey Pete, nice to see you here. Thanks for dropping by. If OM made a full frame camera, I can see some Olympus OM users buying it, but will Canon Nikon Sony users jump ship? What will OM offer that the others aren't to entice them? That is for them to figure out, hey, like Olympus, the legacy of Olympus, or currently now OM system, they have the know-how of making cameras. They definitely know how to make amazing lenses right and they have some computational photography they have some innovation in the camera i'm sure they can make it work if they, they are seriously trying to to survive like honestly at this time what their first priority is to survive because they are disappearing from the market like if you haven't seen the market share okay where were we Oh wow, we are already more than one hour into the stream. <laughs> I should definitely drink some water. Let me just drink some water before I continue on with the stream. Hmm. Currently we have 129 people viewing. Wow, there is a lot of you. Ah. I know there's a lot of comments out there, uh, but before I continue with the comments, I do want to share my thoughts on the possibilities of whether Olympus or OM system should go full frame or not, like exploring if they go full frame, what's going to happen. If they don't go full frame, what's going to happen. And before that, I just want to bring this up again to look at the market share to remind everyone that OM Digital Solutions is disappearing from the market. The market share is doing very poorly. They are honestly at the rock bottom. Like, see, the rest of the 5.7% of the market share includes OM System, Hasselblad, Pentax, and others. It could mean that they are definitely less than 4.2% because if they are, then they'll be together with Panasonic. So it could mean that they are anywhere from 2% to 3%. 2% to 3% of this entire market is quite worrying. Very, very worrying. So two alternatives right one olympus is already at the rock bottom like they are really desperate now and they are willing to try anything to survive to get ahead and honestly taking a gamble of going full frame is not a bad choice like go aggressive look at the chunk of pie you know the full frame pie from sony from nikon from from canon right attack the pie eat into their pie and use their marketing against them. You know, you don't even have to use a lot of your own resources, right? So go full frame, make a simple camera, whatever they, is, they have in an OM-1, make it an OM-1X, but a full frame version. Huh, think about that. They don't even need to, to create anything new, right? So there are a few ways of going around. Like they can just buy an existing sensor. Use the same sensor as a Panasonic S5 Mark II. Why not? And use the L mount, but put in all the amazing 
Olympus recipes in the camera. Put in Pro Capture Mode, put in Live Composite, put in some Live ND, put in all the new features, put in the amazing bird detection autofocus, put in all the latest computational photography stuff into the camera. Give us the best of the best, whatever that makes an Olympus camera amazing, the amazing 5 6 image stabilization, but repackage it in a, into a full frame camera. If you can keep it the same size as the OM-1, excellent, the camera will fly. I believe they can. If they cannot make the camera maybe 20% larger, the camera can still fly. Now, think about it, like, you know, Sony, Canon, Nikon, they are doing the things. They are doing well. Just look at the market share. Now, if OM Digital Solutions would go into full frame, I am sure they can make it work. They don't have to make a lot of lenses to start with. They can make a few lenses and tap into the existing L Alliance lenses from Panasonic, Sigma, and Leica. They have some excellent lenses. And Olympus or OM system coming into the picture, they can produce excellent, sharp, compact lenses and weather sealed lenses. There is no question, Olympus lenses, every single lens that I've used from Olympus, they are excellent the quality once you have used it you will never question it and a lot of people even ask robin did you use the full frame camera for it i said no like instead of asking me whether i use the full frame camera you should be asking me what lenses i've used for my shoot right so if you can bring the lens expertise they can bring you know the amazing camera making know-how i'm sure they can make full frame work this is to take a chance of you know what if they go full frame there's a possibility that it can work or they can go the other direction. Don't go full frame. Stay stubborn as always. They start from the micro photos. They say, no, this is the best system ever. You know, like, this is the best balance between making larger cameras or smaller cameras and making small system making manageable. But here's the problem. All the other full frame cameras are also getting smaller. I know some people are going to argue, but full frame lens size are still large and heavy. Yes, that's true. I'm not denying that. But the fact that full frame cameras are getting smaller and the full frame cameras are actually smaller than OM-1 and Panasonic G9 Mark II, it is worrying. It is very, very, very worrying. So don't go full frame, stay with micro four thirds. They really need to push the micro four thirds technology. No joke, they need to put in a new sensor, not just a new sensor, but a really capable sensor with significant improvements in terms of dynamic range and high ISO. If possible, a bump in resolution as well. 28, 30 megapixels with one stop or more dynamic range improvement, with one stop or more high ISO improvements versus the current sensor. That is to start things. Then maybe they have a fighting chance against other systems in the market. Not only that, they will have to listen to the customers, no more crappy internals in the camera like micro USB. Please put in USB-C, I don't think that's impossible. You know, like the OM10 series cameras, they don't have a microphone input. That is ridiculous. Listen to your customers, put in a microphone input, put in face detection autofocus in your cameras, make your cameras competitive, make them as good as a competition and you can sell. And then there is a fighting chance for Micro Four Thirds. But, but the way I see it, Micro Four Thirds has its chance. For Olympus, for OM Digital Solutions, for Panasonic, they have been around since 2008, 2009. They've been around for 14, 15 years. Whatever they are trying to do, whatever they, they can push, whatever they, they can, the best that they can do, they have already done it. This is another thought. Whatever that they want to push, they have done it already in whatever the cameras they have released in the past. And yes, for me, it's good enough. Obviously, I keep saying that as a professional photographer, I use Micro Four Thirds. I deliver to my clients. My clients never complain. It is good enough. I'm not complaining about Micro Four Thirds. But for the market out there with all the full frame players or the big players, it is not good enough. So the question is, if they want to stay with Micro Four Thirds, what can they do to entice the market to buy? Because if they don't do anything, like even though know, they're currently, they want to stay on the current path, they don't care about going to full frame, they don't care about improving the current Micro Four Thirds camera, if they don't care about putting in a new image sensor, they are in deep trouble. I am not joking. They have to do something somehow. They have to do something soon 
to survive, to get out of this trench. <laughs> I'm gonna drink some coffee before I get back to the comments. Hmm. And how do you like my new cup? My new Canon L Lens cup. Eh. Coffee is life. Hmm. <sighs> All right. Kitty says, more passion, more energy, more footwork. <laughs> True. Carl Richard says, the biggest problem for OM system is that other companies have the patents for most of the full frame innovations, plus doesn't have any footing in the Western world where the money is at. Just join the L Alliance. Problem solved. Dono Wong says, bro, it's not how surface area works. Surface areas? Are you talking to me? I thought surface area is just um, length times width, right? Uh, basic mathematics. Pete says, could they get better at high-res mode processing capability, improve sensor performance and computational photography to match full frame while keeping the benefits of micro four thirds like similar lighter sensor lenses? Here's the thing. Sony and Panasonic full frame cameras also have high-res modes. And now with the latest update for the S5 Mark II, they have handheld high-res as well. It's not only exclusive to Micro Four Thirds. Kithy says, uh, talking to Pete, OM always had the best image stabilization and usability. I would probably invest in full frame OM camera. True, I would too. Masiech says, Olympus have worse situation making new mount lenses than Lumix because they have Leica support with the mount. Then join the mount, right? <laughs> they don't have to make their own mounts, just join the existing Leica L Alliance. Anthony says, Olympus went with for third size sensor because 35mm size sensors were too expensive to manufacture. A few cameras did use large APS-C size sensors and they cost about 20000 in the time of manufacturing. But at this moment, I think perhaps the full frame sensors are already cheaper than for third size sensors because of the pure uh, volume, right? The more you manufacture, the cheaper the cost. Brian says, I think OM system should be making mobile phone with interchangeable lens. Not a bad solution, but that's like a different topic altogether, right? Carl Hunter Roach says, I don't think L lens will welcome OM. What will OM offer? I don't think they're also in a position to discount the capabilities of OM's legacy. Hey, Olympus legacy. Olympus has a lot of technology that they can bring into the table. And in fact, Panasonic, was very late into the game when it came to, to phase detection on the focus. If OM joined the alliance earlier, they would have gotten the technology earlier. There's a lot that uh, OM's digital solutions can bring into the table in terms of R&D. Anthony says, the sensor size race is over. It is time for OM systems to swallow their pride and go on with a sensor that the majority of manufacturers are using. It's not the first they tried half frame in the past. I know, right? Like, if that's the largest chunk of the pie, why would you want to eat into that chunk? It doesn't make sense, right? Norm says, look what Nikon is doing with the ZF. I would consider a compact full frame system. When I shot Canon full frame, I used a 4L glass to reduce size and weight. Issues there too. Nah, I'll just use all prime lenses. All the F1.8 primes are quite small. Corey says, the all new OM system, OM35 with BSI 35mm full frame sensor, guaranteed with 20 megapixels. Yeah, not a bad solution. Andrew Banner says Nikon shared its mounts before. It shared with Kodak with the DCS and Fuji with the fine picks. But that was like the beginning of the digital era, and Kodak died, and Fuji sort of like temporarily died before they resurfaced with the, uh, uh, the current APS-C system, right? Norm says, I agree. 20 megapixels is fine, give me better eyes or in dynamic range. I love a square format too. We just need improvement, right? We need progress. Like I'm not seeing progress and that is worrying. Sante says, is L mount and Alliance? Yes, uh, Sigma. Leica and Panasonic, they are all in the L Alliance. Anthony says, OM systems, come to think of it, should just join the L Mount Alliance and swallow the pride and make a full frame camera. That's what you've mentioned and I agree with you. Global Image says, OM should join Sigma and make a few FP. Small form factor, but OM tech inside the camera. I know, right? 
then that's what we've been talking about L Alliance right why not <laughs> El Mount Alliance yes curry who is Seraphine says I don't know I don't know I know I know of three film wedding photographers is Orlando making a good living The wedding photographers here in Malaysia are making amazing living though. I'm not one because I've given up on weddings. But my wedding photography friends are doing really, really well. Samuel says, do you think a new version of the EMR X will be released? I don't know. Hey, at this moment, OM Digital Solutions is in quite a bad shape. I mean, if you look at the market share and it's hard to predict what the next move is. Daniel Tilly says, if OM system does die, will you switch system? I will still continue using micro four thirds because if OM system dies, my cameras don't automatically die, right? But uh, moving on, if there is no longer support, say that the service center shuts down and I can't buy new cameras or lenses anymore, then the sensible way as a professional photographer is to find a brand or a camera system that gives me support. <laughs> so yes, I, I guess the short answer is yes. What is 4% in dollars? I don't know. You need to know how much the dollars is first. Percentage in market share isn't the important thing. It's profit and R&D. Are you seriously going to tell me that OM Digital Solutions is making profit? Hmm. Kitif says, problem with Micro Four Thirds is that the gap between it and the smartphones is not big enough to fit hobbyists. A little bit bigger sensor and interchangeable lenses. APS-C is similar price range, but better. APS-C is... In similar price range, but not better. Like if I were to see a big uh, change in terms of jump of image quality, I will go full frame, not APS-C. APS-C doesn't make sense. If you want more, go full frame. If you want clear advantage, go full frame. Anthony says they should make a full frame OM4 camera and have a micro four thirds adapter made available for the new camera to make it somewhat backward compatible when using micro four thirds crop mode. Yeah, why not? Denise Demena says regardless of format, OM systems needs a wild camera. Agreed, it's about time. Chevrolet doesn't make money on their Corvette, but it brings customers into the showroom and they may purchase other models. I agree. Santik says, if they really make full frame, will Olympus OM system for frame sell like hotcakes? Is it more of their half-baked products, lacking new innovations, getting pricier, and not doing well marketing? If they can just convert the OM1 into a full frame system, imagine the OM1 camera, instead of micro four sensor, put a full frame camera uh, sensor in it. We still have handheld high res, you still have live ND, you still have live composite, you have uh, the amazing bird tracking capability, Maintain the size. Why not? I think you'll sell really, 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 really well. Keith Rulich says, Hey, what's up, Robin? Hey, Keith. Thanks for dropping by. Keith from Detroit. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Uh, happy to see you here. Keith is talking to Anthony. That could actually be great for bright environment while I'm shooting with shorter lenses, for example. That's true. Johan says, keep on focusing the resources on computational side of photography, but they should stop this letdown game of reissuing the same cameras with nearly no updated features. Now, here's the thing, Johan, like Micro Four Thirds or Olympus or OM System or Panasonic, they have been around for 14, 15 years. They have been around. Whatever they want to do with Micro Four Thirds, they've already done it. Whatever they want to push, the best thing they want to bring into the table, the, their best game, Whatever, right? They have done it. It's still not good enough. So pushing computational style of photography is not going to change anything at this point. Joshua says Canon recently dropped the APS-C line. Not true. They discontinued the EOS M, but they have another APS-C line, which is the RF line. I think it makes sense. It doesn't it? It is not logical to have two conflicting uh, APS-C mount. One is USM and the other one is RF. So clearly, they want the RF line to be their future. So they did not drop anything. Think about that. Kithif says, uh, talking to Anthony, but technical issue arises when sensor resolution will be crap at those crop ratios. Lumiere says, it is as risky for OM to go full frame as to stick to micro four thirds. That's my thought, right? Like, 
I'm not the only one seeing this, right? Like, if Micro Four Thirds is doing well, if they have like 20% market share, I'll say stay with Micro Four Thirds, don't go full frame, you know, it's a stupid risk. But now they're like at rock bottom. Staying with Micro Four Thirds is obviously not helping things, right? Going full frame requires bringing considerable in innovations, something Samsung did with the NX1, having new video codec, etc. Making it too much ahead. Yeah, well, we'll just see. Strategy-wise, that's a different matter altogether. Like, if Olympus go full frame, what should be they be doing with the camera? That's that's a different discussion altogether. But the current discussion is like, I don't think going full frame is a bad solution. Corey says, OM Systems' problem is that they are done focusing on wildlife and macro. There is so much more than that. That's true. I agree that photography is a lot more than wildlife, right? Carl Hunter Roach says, how about OM invest in moderate interface for iPhone generation? I think this problem is not just OM digital solutions, right? I think all cameras out there, including Sony, including Canon and Nikon, they have very poor interface. Corey says they are zone focusing. Who are zone focusing? Carl says OM need to change conversation from sensor size. I don't think they're talking about sensor size. They have always been trying to avoid sensor size. In fact, OM Digital Solutions or Olympus have always been trying to sweep the discussion or conversation on sensor size under the rut because that's where they lose, right? <laughs> Andrew says, uh, talking to, to Carl, all right. You guys are talking to each other. That's amazing. Robin Shafir says, if OM built a full frame body, the size of the Sigma FP and a series of small F2, F2.8, F3.5 primes, they might keep the small size of bodies and lenses. I agree. And that ultimately, that's the most important thing, right? Making the camera small, light, and still delivering fantastic performance and value for money. Gordon says, just after 7 here, wow, that is early. Good morning to you, Gordon. Have to hit the gym, so signing off. No worries, thanks for dropping by. Thanks for doing this. Now I have to check out this Osmo Pocket 3, even though it just looks awkward to use now. To me, it makes perfect sense. It's used for vlogging and vlogging only. Like If you don't do any video work or vlogging, then there's no point for you to get it. And Trick, hey, thanks for dropping by. Very nice to see you here. How are you? Santik says, for small camera players uh, going for one inch, but I don't know why they're still not with the TG7. They're not doing what the market trend, would rather they delay a year to make proper camera. Yeah, I know, right? TG, TG7 would have been so amazing if they have one inch image sensor. I think they can make it. I just don't know why they're not doing it. 3D Print Creator. I think the main reason why Zuko Glass is so good is because it's made for every very small sensors. Designing lenses for bigger sensor is a completely different story. Not sure they are good enough. I'm sure they are. And these days and age, uh, optics te technology or know-how and expertise on making lenses, they have improved so much. And one reason of this improvement is computational help. Like we, can, we have softwares or we can use the computers to help us design lenses now. So it's more precise and it's a lot less... Uh, uh, how I put it, more or less difficult when it, it comes to uh, calculations, right? You can just leave it to the software to take care of most of it. And it's also the reason why uh, China companies like View Trucks, uh, Seven Artisans, and a lot of these other companies like Yongno, they're also coming out with a lot of their lenses. And that's because they have help from software now. It's not just about proprietary secret recipe from, uh, let's say, Olympus or Canon or Nikon, right? Like everyone can make lenses these days. Corey says, I bet if OM systems get innovative with sexy PANF updates and spec-heavy EM1X Mark II, they will sell. I agree. Just throw in APS-C sensor at least and target a portrait in event market. No. APS-C sensor is just like 20 to 30% larger than Micro Four Thirds. And I've compared APS-C sensor and Micro Four Thirds. I don't see enough improvement. If there's improvement, it's just a little bit and it's negligible. If you want to see clear, huge gap of improvement, huge jump of image quality, go full frame. That is the best solution. 
Juvort says, Hey Robin, Olympus Sima is no longer for sale. I have no idea. Hey, check your uh, the, the nearest Olympus or OM store near you. <laughs> Anthony says, Olympus made a big mistake in the beginning by putting all the eggs in one basket and just concentrating on four thirds and micro four thirds cameras only. Yeah, I, I guess they, they thought that it would work. You know, like they really were very very confident that the micro four thirds format would work uh for a period of time it did but it just died off like currently it's in a very 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 miserable condition or uh, state of things anthony continues to say in the past olympus came to the census and gave out on half frame cameras and joined the full frame 35 millimeters camera system i think history may just repeat itself who knows Donnelly says, I kind of agree with the full frame direction. The best time to plant a tree is 20 years ago. The second best time is now, and it costs a lot to develop a new system. Hope they can afford it. No, I don't think it costs a lot. They can lean into the existing system, right? Now, obviously, Olympus or OM system, they don't make uh, sensors. They buy sensors from Panasonic or Sony. So just buy the sensor, join the L Alliance mount, uh, which is uh, Sigma, Panasonic, and Leica, use their mount, which tap into the existing lens ecosystem. They don't have to make a lot of new lenses and they're set to go. They already have current camera making know-how. They have image stabilization technology. They have electronic viewfinder technology. Their processor, obviously they know what they're doing. Even the autofocus technology is doing quite well. Put everything together. It's like a Lego, right? Put all the pieces together, make it into a camera. I don't think it is that complicated to make. 3D Print Creators uh, is talking to Lumiere, obscuring reaction to bringing OM quality to the market. All things you see in Sony cameras that are on sale now were first implemented in Olympus cameras years earlier. That is true. Yeah, it is. Olympus was the pioneer leading the technology. They were the first in a lot of things, but all these things got copied and everyone else also had the same advantages. And the worst thing is that everyone else, the full frame players, the cameras are also getting smaller. 3D print creator continues to say, when Olympus was almost on the edge of bankruptcy, Sony saved Olympus with a financial injection, buying all the innovations. That is not true. They did not buy the innovations. They buy the share, but it doesn't mean that Olympus will open up everything to them. In fact, uh, one thing for sure, it was that Olympus never shared the image stabilization technology with Sony. So the 5 axis IS from Olympus was different from the 5 axis IS that is used in Sony's cameras. Uh, Olympus was using voice coil motor, VCM, whereas Sony was using something else entirely. I can't remember exactly specifically, but the 5 axis IS on Olympus and, and Sony, they are completely different. And Olympus did not share this with Sony. Anthony says, I really think that micro four thirds sensors are more expensive than full frame sensors right now. It does not make any sense to keep making cameras that use an unpopular sensor, which is probably more expensive. I know, right? Yeah, that's what we've been talking about all this time. Norm says, we do have to realize that OMG solutions didn't buy the, the system to fail. The future may prove to be very interesting. Yes, but they are also in a very difficult spot now. In terms of market share, they are disappearing. So they have to do something soon and fast. Angelo says, Robin, Panasonic and Nikon is already fighting on a value front. Nikon ZN and Z9 are cheaper than similar Sony A9, A1, and Canon R3 and R5 are coming R1. Panasonic S5 with 2060 for 1006 euros. I don't see your point. Uh, YT Dufy says, what if technology improves maybe by using AI and the trend will be towards reducing sensor size? Look at the quality of iPhone 15 photographs. Not impressed. Clean Johnson says, what about if OM would take the guts of the Sigma FP, wrap a stylish Leica M style body around it, add image stabilization, face detect and use L mount. No huge development costs. I think I, I can get behind that. Yeah, they can get creative, right? That's exactly what I'm talking about. Buy the, obviously, they don't make sensors. Buy the sensor from someone, right? Create their own body, use the L mount, and it can work, right? They already have the know-how. They have the autofocus technology, right? They can make it work. Right. Well, we are really, really behind in the comments. Anthony says, if they went full frame and kept making cameras that were built like tanks, 
that you could easily operate with gloves on operating with camera in the cold, I think they will have a winner. Yeah, but that's the thing, right? The majority of the world don't live in the cold. <laughs> Angelo says, uh, Panasonic S5 Mark II, S5 Mark II X are also cheaper than the Nikon Z6 Mark II, Canon R6 Mark II, and Sony S7 IV. So which room does OM system have in this marketplace? The marketplace is huge. They can still go in and take something. Whereas, there's no marketplace for micro folders. It's like non-existent. So if you still want to continue with micro folders, it's like, who are you taking it from? There's nothing to take, right? Now, here's the thing. Uh, this was true when I was working for Olympus, right? In the beginning, the micro folders strategy from Olympus was never to overtake Canon or Nikon. They were never to be number one. What they aim to do is to coexist with the bigger players. Like if you have owned a Canon 1DX, but you don't want to bring the Canon 1DX with you all the time, then maybe you can consider an Olympus Pen or Olympus OMD EM5 camera because it's so much smaller, it's fast enough, and the image quality is good enough. That was there has always been the original intention, there was always been the original objective, and for a period of time, they succeeded. But being the second camera, being good enough, being something that coexists with other bigger brands, doesn't work anymore. It does not. So Micro Four Thirds needs to re-examine their purpose, they need to re-examine their position in the market, because being the second best, being just the second camera to carry around is not going to save the company, right? They need to go ahead of the game. They really need to reposition themselves and not be the second choice all the time. Renegade1127 says, somebody mentioned lenses for any OM full frame body, anything with the OM mount, not for third so micro photos was built for 35 millimeters film. Olympus know how to make excellent full frame lenses. Exactly, they have the technology. Anthony says, if OM systems make full frame camera that was built like a tank, yeah, we just talk about this, right? Joe Preet says, has OM Digital Solutions retained the same Olympus technicians and stuff as before? I haven't heard of any layoffs yet. They have cut out like more than 50% of their work workforce. Donnelly says, maybe the problem is not the sensor size in theory. Small sensor body performance should be better than full frame in image stabilization, speed cooling, but it is not. OM may not have fully utilized the advantage of it. Now here's the problem. I never said the sensor size was the problem. I never said that micro photos is not good enough. I never said that uh, you know, performance cannot be better. Uh, you know, In fact, I prefer shooting with micro photos over full frame. That is not the discussion here, Donnie. The discussion here is micro four thirds is dying. If you look at the market share, OM system is almost non-existent. It is less than 5% and is sharing together with Pentax and Hasselblad. If they, they don't do something soon, they will die. Like they will literally die. So one of the solutions is look at the biggest chunk of the market. Why don't you eat into it? And it's not that difficult to do. I'm not denying everything you said there. 3D print creator says, Olympus with Elman is not going to happen. Uh, impossible, that mount is full of patterns, not to be shared with anyone. Well, then they have to create their own mount then, which is also not difficult to do. They can do it if they want to. Carl says, when Olympus left the market, uh, when it came time to replace my EM1, I chose the, the G9, particularly because Panasonic was the remaining large player and newcomer, OM was an unknown quantity. Now, G9 is, is a good camera, don't get me wrong, but it doesn't have face detection autofocus, so I'll still pick EM1 Mark II over the G9. Angelo says, uh, talk, Panasonic focus on low-end and video-based full-frame, Nikon on high-end full-frame with ZN and Z9, Canon and Sony focus on general full-frame and focus on all sectors of the market. Okay. Anthony says, Robin, I think you are correct that it would be a big mistake for them to go small, medium format over using a full frame sensor system right now where they have such low market share. Yeah, just look at the data, right? You don't have to create something out of nothing. And these numbers, they don't lie. 
Coffee Technician says, Hi Robin, hey, thanks for dropping by, nice to see you here. In my opinion, Olympus check the digital content creator market, made camera for TikTok creator, it'll be a significant sales because on the next wave of sales, it's live sales like TikTok. I agree. They should never neglect the content creators and that's why I'm so disappointed with the uh, EM10 series from Olympus previously because something as simple as a microphone jack is missing. I don't understand why. Go Glowing Girls say, Thanks Robin, I personally have no complaints about the mechanics or functions. I do all commercial works with the EM1X. The only thing I'm not happy with is the color shift in no ideal conditions. Yeah, and the only way to overcome it is to have uh, an updated image sensor, which I don't know why they're not bringing it up because we do see some patterns about new sensors for micro four thirds. I'm sure the new newer sensors will address these issues. You gotta admit, EM1X is not a new camera. It has been around for what, five years now, at least? So any new sensors would have countered that problem. Or another solution is to go full frame where you have less color shift issues. Xmina says, performance, noise, etc. is not about sensor size, but the ratio between sensor size and resolution. High-res performance sensors like 60 megapixels A7 Mark R4 have similar issues with noise like 24 megapixels APS-C or 16 megapixels micro four thirds. Okay, I'm not talking about resolution. I'm talking about sensor size. Like, just look at the market share, right? I'm just going to bring out the market share thing again. Canon, Sony, Nikon, they make up about 85% of the market share. Regardless of what you want to argue, you can't deny Full Frame has a very large chunk. And why don't we eat into that chunk? <laughs> Norm says, perhaps a Full Frame OM system camera will be a low-cost consumer system that pros could embrace with superb computational firmware. Why not? I think that's an elegant solution. Anthony says, film is very polluting to the environment. That is also another problem, right? Vahagraphy says, what's up guys? Hey, how are you? Go Glowing Girl says, maybe they can buy 14, 16 bit edit converters. But the current micro four thirds sensor doesn't have that much information. Even if you output a 14 bit file, you don't see any improvement over the current 12-bit file. That's the issue here. Angelo says, GIP is an investing company who bought OM Digital System. Why did they do this? To earn money. So the only way to earn the investment is to sell the company. To whom? Maybe Blackmagic Design. I don't think they'll sell the company because the company is doing really, 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 really badly at the moment. Carl Hunter Roche says, Panasonic put R&D into G9. This is also the new Olympus camera. If OM shutter Panasonic will two over product. No, the G9, as great as the camera was, I love the camera, but it doesn't have face detection and autofocus. So I tried the camera for a while. I loved it for what it is, but it's slightly too large for my taste. And just because it doesn't has, have face detection and autofocus, it's just it's a no-go for me. That's why I've been using the EMA Mark II. The G9 Mark II, however, yeah, that will be interesting. Coffee Technician says, just like Fujifilm, it's easy to use and ready to upload to social media. Yeah. Norm says, if full frame, I, went, I want uh, F4L glass to reduce size and weight that carries its own issues. I'll just go to prime lenses, F1.8. Problem solved. Anthony says, yes, there is a certain magic developing film, but I do not miss breathing in the films. Feel like a uh, mole stuck in a dark room trying to get film developed. Yeah, that's true. The whole process is a hassle, hey. Kita says, it's not really good enough for you. Come on, brah. What do you mean? I've been using Micro Four Thirds. I've shown my Micro Four Thirds system shooting in super challenging situation. ISO 12800, you can check out my video very recently. And I've consistently argued and I've delivered these shots to my clients. My clients were happy. They come back to me. What do you mean it's not good enough? Like, who are you to tell me what is good enough for me or not? Who are you to decide for me? <laughs> Carl says, make a simple camera. Yeah, simpler the better. Angelo says, uh, Blackmagic needs better image stabilization, face detection, auto focus, and good lenses. One system needs video functions, so good fit and match. I think it makes sense for them to partner rather than for one to buy the other. Like they can share the technology, then they will be in a very interesting thing. 
Fahagraphy says, nice coffee mug. Cheers. This is my first time using this though. The previous one was black in color. So yeah, some variety. I think Rob Track says like I should own like 13 of these, these mugs to be a real photographer, right? So currently I have two. Time to buy more. Kitty says, that mug though, I need it more than micro photos. Go buy it. It's cheap. Christine says, uh, talking to Norm, if you got it, then the F4 glasses will be an F2 glass in Micro Four Thirds. So my cheap Olympus lenses are in this class. What focal length is the coffee mark? Okay, let me show you. I don't know if you can see it, uh, how it gets into focus. It's 24 to 105. F4, L, with IS and USM. <laughs> Angelos are uh, talking to photography. Did you know you like micro four thirds? Hmm, okay. Volker says, hi from Volker in Germany. Hello. I do not see any reason for OM systems to go full frame because in the meantime, the market is small anyway, and the market for professionals is too small. What do you mean the market is small? Are you saying that the Canon, Sony, Nikon, even Panasonic here, this market is small? Full frame market is small. What are you talking about? <laughs> Vahagraphy is talking to Angelo. I don't uh, just open to try new things. Kitty says, what if the future sensors are going to look like eyeballs instead of flat rectangles? Yeah, things can change. Hey, something says, if you can't beat them, join them. Agreed. Anthony says, wishlist an all new OM4 and 30 megapixels BSI stack sensor with no anti-aliasing filters and a full frame built like a tank. Good wish list. Kitty says, also will be true if future monitors stop being 2D. Nah, if the 3D thing is going to take off, it would have taken off by now. Hey, they've been pushing the 3D like since more than 10 years ago and it didn't take off. So yeah, I don't think 3D is going to happen. Vagraphy says, I've heard good things about Olympus. I'll try a few. Of course, give it a try. I'm using Olympus and I'm enjoying it. Android in a camera versus 5G? What do you mean? I thought Android 5G is the network, right? The speed of the network that you're using, the cellular network, and Android is just an operating system. Android's operating system was originally designed for cameras. Fun fact. Vagravi says, nice to meet you. Robin, nice to meet you too. Masiech says, yes, sure, Olympus could join other lens mounts, but releasing brand new camera with bigger sensor, but not having a single dedicated lens for it is no go there. Have to be at least portrait and zoom lens. They can make lenses. Like, I'm not worried about lenses from OM Digital Solutions or Olympus. I'm more worried about the camera. Like, when it comes to lenses, they are the experts. Like if you have seen what they can do with the lens, if you know half the things I know about the lens expertise, you wouldn't question about the lenses. Varavi says, are you in Malaysia? Yes, I am. I am based in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. I said it in every single beginning of my video. Hi, my name is Robin Wong. I am a photographer from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Andrew Banner says, do you know that OM Digital Solutions isn't making a profit? Yep, I know. Volker says, I think OM system still has a wow camera. I hope they do though, and they have to bring it out fast. Robin Sheffer says, if OM joined the L Alliance and the money is in selling lenses, maybe they should make lenses before a full frame camera body. No, the body has to come up first before the lens. Pinnacle Pete says, Robin, ditch the cannon. Take your 12 to 40 lens, remove all the elements, wash the inside, and then you got your Olympus coffee cup. <laughs> the weather ceiling will prevent it from leaking. <laughs> I love my 12 to 40 though. I wouldn't do that to my 12 to 40 lens, hey. Hey Zoltan, nice to see you here. Vahagraphy says R7 disagrees. Disagrees with what? Anthony says, after listening to you, I have to totally agree with you. Seeing that OM system is at the bottom of the barrel right now, we are very, they have very little flexibility. Yeah. 4% of the camera market is around 440 million US dollars. What makes you think it's 4%? Hmm. It could be 1%. And 440 million US dollars is very, very small. 
GT says, Hi Robin, they should stick with Micro Four Thirds, innovate on the sensor. I love Micro Four Thirds too. If they can innovate, they would have innovated by now. It has been what? Since 2009, 2008, it has been 15 years and they are at their all time low. Like, how? Whatever they want to try, whatever they want to do, they have done. So, you know, time to try something else, hey? Chan K says, oh no, all my micro for thirst lenses, if full frame, I can't afford a new set of full frame lenses. By the way, love Nasi Lama and Te Tare. Chan, I'm saying that Olympus or OM system, giving it a try with a full frame camera. I'm not asking them to abandon micro four thirds. Hmm. Just like what micro, uh, Panasonic did, right? Panasonic did not abandon their micro four thirds, but they have full frame cameras now. And look at where they are. They are doing quite well. Christopher Nash says, Robin, I have the Olympus OMD EM10 Mark III S. Should I upgrade to EM1 Mark II or III? Depending on what you do, uh, EM1 Mark EM1 series cameras will bring you weather ceiling, magnesium alloy body. So definitely in terms of uh, handling, yes, beefier grip, longer battery life. It has 4K video, uh, which is a lot better than the EM10 series. It also has face detection auto focus. Uh, which will allow for better continuous tracking it has dual cut slots. So if you are shooting professionally, if you need increased in image quality, if you need all these video features and autofocus, image stabilization, uh, better electronic viewfinder, then of course the EM1 Mark II, EM1 Mark III will serve you much better than the EM10. But if you're not shooting professionally, if you don't shoot in the rain or in a snowy area, if you don't need dual cut slots, if you don't need super fast autofocus, I think EM10 series is more than sufficient. I think it's great value for money. So it depends on what you are doing. And I have a super chat from George. Thank you so much, George, uh, for the super chat. I appreciate it every little contribution that you guys sent me. Uh, I think this is also the right opportunity to thank everyone. Uh, thanks George and everyone for the support for all the coffee you guys have bought me uh, for the contribution to my PayPal. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much because without you guys, there's no Robin Wong and I only exist because you guys are here. So thanks for the support. Thanks for watching my videos. Thanks for the likes, shares and just being here, I appreciate you. <laughs> Thank you so, 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 so much. Right, I'm gonna come back to the comments. Norm says, total market for photography uh, is 11 billion. Hmm, that number is questionable. HR Maro says, is there room in the market for a full frame width sensor, square sensor using full frame lenses? Uh, Think of the current full frame cameras. They are not using square sensor. They're using a 3-2 sensor, rectangular, right? If you were to make them square, then the camera will have, been, would, will have to be bigger, right? And the cost of the sensor will also be a lot more expensive, maybe even double because there's more surface area. So I think the priority now is to keep the size down and the priority now is also to keep the cost down. So having a square sensor, I, I understand the concept and the, the advantages that it will bring, but having a square sensor will also be a lot more expensive and it might make the camera too big. Exploring with Rottenfish says, if Olympus go for full frame sensor now, it's good also, but more improve and invest on advertising market. Uh, make some changes on design for young generation. Yeah, the camera design. I think Olympus cameras or OM Digital Solutions cameras, the design is okay. I have no issue with the design. Hey, I prefer the look of my Olympus cameras over, say, <coughs> Sony. I think Sony makes really ugly cameras. <laughs> Anthony says, I believe why Sony and Canon are doing so is because they're making their own sensors. Yeah, that's one reason, but there are a lot of other reasons as well. Santik says, if they go full frame, either they thrive or they die. True. It's a very risky gamble. Hey, uh, understand they are rock bottom, but developing new could be quite costly and the assembly line, new lens development costs. Yes, L Alliance. 
Tarek says, I invested in Sony APS-C with the 6000 and 6005. Recently moved to the Sony A7C. It's awesome, but the lenses are very expensive compared to the improvements. Yeah, that's also another reason why I'm staying with the Micro Four Thirds because the lenses in full frame system is really, really expensive. Carl's uh, talking to Anthony. There's a big advantage for them. Tarek continues to say, Thanks to you, Robin. I've ordered an Olympus XZ1 just to relieve the days when I had the Olympus C725UZ. Wow, that is an old camera. Yeah, XZ1 is such an awesome camera. You will love it. Vahagavi says, Is Promel Jeff Vork? What the hell is Jeff Vork? I have no idea what you're talking about. Anyway, Original Gems Tracks. Hey, how are you? Nice to see you here. How about looking at Panasonic as an example? As far as I know, their full frame models have not been huge sellers. Wouldn't it be expect if OM system tried the same? But they are doing better than OM. <laughs> at least they are in the list of the top five. OM is not even in the list. Like I don't even know what percentage OM is, right? OM is maybe like only 1% as far as we know. <laughs> okay. Like-minded uh, says, maybe one product from Olympus that would target a full-frame sensor might be the move to make with an option for cropping in camera with an option to use Micro Four Thirds lenses when activated, we never know. There's a lot of things they can do, hey. They can get creative, definitely. Santik says, they can have L mount, but they will need to spend more money on R&D, their first full-frame camera. Maybe they need to find more consumer items to sell. Small vlog action type camera is current trend. Yeah, but I, I don't know why is it so hard for people to get the vlogging camera right. Like, Sony, the ZV-1, the first one, on the concept is good, but the lens is not wide enough. And then the ZV-1 Mark, ZV Mark II, they have a wider lens and they took away the image stabilization. Why? And you know, like Panasonic tried making a vlogging camera, the like G100. They don't have image stabilization. Why? And no face detection or focus. Why? You know, it's like they're just sabotaging themselves. And then Canon released like a half baked, I don't even know what uh, model it is now, the one that, that's horizontal, the, the screen flips up this way. Ah, just, oh man, I just, they're just making things really, really, really bad. John! Oh, so kind of you, John. DJI Pocket 3 fun. <laughs> John uh, is an amazing friend. He's also a fellow uh, photographer based in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Someone that I've learned a lot from and deeply inspired by. Uh, hey, John, next week, Zoom, photo walk. No excuse. You got to finish your review hey, of that product that we, we, we talked about earlier. <laughs> yeah, John is also one of the guys that we have, uh, I do photo walks a lot with. Vahari says, you're smart for centering your channel around a niche micro photo, it's better for channel growth. It's not a strategy per se, like I didn't choose Micro Four Thirds to be the topic of this channel. I, I have been shooting with Micro Four Thirds long before I have this YouTube channel. I had a blog, you can check my blog. My blog has been around for more than 10 years. Uh, I've been writing about Micro Four Thirds products. Uh, it's just that when I started this YouTube channel, I just happened to use Micro Four Thirds product. So I just use what I have, <laughs> makes sense, right? So it's not a conscious choice or it's not like a strategy. 3D printer, print creator says, now I have been an Olympus guy for long from OM. I invested in four thirds and I saw it all again to join Micro Four Thirds and now changing all my nine lenses. Don't think so. I would love to stay with Micro Four Thirds. I never asked anyone to abandon Micro Four Thirds. Have I said anything like that? When I suggested that Olympus or OM system to explore the full frame market is for the survival. I didn't ask them to give up on Micro Four Thirds system. Look at what Panasonic did. Panasonic had full frame cameras. They've been doing it for several years now, but they still release fantastic Micro Four Thirds products. They have the 9mm f1.7, which I love. And they've just launched G9 Mark II, which I think will be a huge seller. So just because Olympus or OMG Solutions go full frame, doesn't mean that they are ditching uh, Micro Four Thirds. So you here saying, don't think so, I would love to stay with Micro Four Thirds, then stay with Micro Four Thirds. No one is asking you to go away. I love Micro Four Thirds. I've been a strong supporter for Micro Four Thirds all this time. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> so why should you? 
Santik says the consumer must product that sells and gets money for the company if they can make a superb stabilized vlog action camera with solid audio. Uh, CDGI, Insta, GoPro, Xiaomi, yeah, recent brands. Yeah, I'm going for a DJI Pocket 3, definitely. Time check, we are more than two hours into the stream and we still have 127 people going strong. And I'm gonna drink more water. I should be drinking more water. Hey, I've been talking so much nonstop. I gotta keep myself hydrated, but I'm a little bit behind the chat. Gotta catch up. Mm. Oh. How do you guys like my nasi lemak in the background? <laughs> That thing cost me like 18 ringgit or around four US dollars. Cheap stuff. One Pablo says, I'm happy now with micro four thirds. If OM goes full frame, I don't see so much market for it. Remember the cameras are selling less than before every year. Less market, are you sure? Let's take a look at the market share again. Micro four thirds doesn't even have a market anymore if you ask me honestly. Micro Four Thirds is vanishing from the market. So if that's true, and it's just going to get worse, Micro Four Thirds is just going to get smaller and smaller and smaller. Where do you think the market is? If it is not full frame. Like, people keep saying that if you go full frame, there's no market there. But clearly, numbers don't lie. Look at the numbers correctly. Look at them closely. Where are the full frame? And where is Micro Four Thirds? Can you honestly tell me that there's no market in full frame? Like seriously? <laughs> Vagarfi says, but now the big boys have small cameras. Do you think this will be an issue? Of course it's an issue. It's because the full frame cameras are getting smaller. That's why people are giving out on Micro Four Thirds, right? And Micro Four Thirds, for whatever reasons, are making like crazy huge cameras and really big and expensive lenses, which makes no sense. 3D Print Creator says, Found it. L-Mount Alliance is not to be entered by another player when it comes to cameras, only on accessories. From the Panasonic press conference, I joined in the beginning of this year. But things can change. Things can always change. Vagarfi says, Nikon ZF being full frame is not that big of a camera. That's true. Santik says, if they are going to make full frame, they need to make a super wild camera and a basic line of lenses. Also need to cater with video market, something that other brands use to buy. Of course, they need to catch up with all the specifications. Donnie says, thanks Robin for the discussion. Someone has to raise it. If they really do, I hope it will be smaller than S7C. Remove some components if needed. Of course, we need small cameras and yet still capable. And that's what Olympus has been excelling at all this time. Vahagraphy says, what do you prefer, micro four thirds over full frame? Just curious. I'm using micro four thirds. So that answers your question. George says, OM can be the first choice of people in a certain price range and those who want a smaller size system. Definitely. That's what they're specializing at, right? Santik says, if they are going to make full frame, then half harder they will be just burn their last budget. Yeah. Now, I think if they are going to do it, they will do it really, really, really well. Tarek says, whatever OM tries to have an edge with firmware updates, Sony, for example, is really updating firmware, which draws away loyal users. Well, they just keep releasing new cameras, right? They don't care about firmware. They want you to buy a new cameras. Carlo says, hi there. Great job, Robin Wong. Thank you so much, Carlo. Nice to see you here. Thanks for dropping by. Xmina says, going to full frame is exactly what almost killed Pentax. So the same will happen with OM if they decide to copy that. No. What killed Pentax? It's not going mirrorless. What killed Pentax is being stubborn. It has nothing to do with full frame. Mirrorless is the future. I am Hassan says, uh, I was talking to Vahagar. Okay, you guys are talking to each other. That's great. David! Hey, nice to see you here. How are you, David? <laughs> it is about the lenses to go along with the sensor. That is true. And I have no worries when it comes to lenses. Hey, I mean, if we have used, if you have used Olympus lenses, you know how amazing they are. And there's no doubt that uh, OM system can make amazing lenses regardless of the format that they are making it for. 
Jarash says, Hello, sorry to say the fact is oil marketing is bad. The products are excellent, but the marketing is very bad. So if they make full frame, unless they improve their marketing, no. So you see, this is the magic when they go full frame, right? They don't need marketing because marketing has been done by Sony, Canon, Nikon. Everyone's shouting like, bigger sensor is better because our sensors are bigger than micro four thirds. That's why our cameras are better. So use their marketing against them. Make full frame camera and eat into their pie. <laughs> Norm says, give me an OM Digital Solutions L Alliance full-frame camera the size of a Sigma FP but with a high-quality electronic viewfinder. That could definitely work. Xmida says, and the current OM market share is also a result of previous Olympus decline and those strange times when many customers were afraid about Micro Four Thirds future and switch. No, it's not true. If you want to talk about the uncertainty of Olympus switching over to GIP, that's about three years ago. It has been more than two years, it's two or three years now, and they have a lot of chance to build up the reputation and they have released a few products. And if OM1 is as wow as some reviewers claim to be, <laughs> I'm sure the company would have been in a better shape. Obviously not. Vagraphy says, Jared Pauline's uh, 1200 Canon baseball video, I wasn't impressed, too much noise in shadows. Sorry, I don't follow Jared, whoever he is. Mr. Pakunte says, for me, the body of Olympus OM-1 and the EM-1 Mark III are the best body compared to other brands. Only problem in the device area, micro four thirds. If it's full frame, I'd rather buy them Sony, Canon or Nikon. Device area. So if you're saying that Sony, Canon and Nikon are larger, that is not true. If you look at Canon R6 Mark II, uh, Nikon Z6 Mark II, these cameras are not bigger than EM1 Mark III or OM1. They're actually smaller. <laughs> Rob Track, hey guys! Rob is in the house! Rob, how are you? I think a good first full-frame OM camera would be one was the same size, build and look of original film or M1. Also the use of image stabilization to move the sensor to autofocus vintage OM lenses and use OM mount. Yes, definitely. We need, I mean, the vintage retro look is all the rage now. Hey, so take inspiration from the previous, their own heritage. I think that's a good way to go. And I'm sure they can make a full frame camera. Uh, no doubt uh, with amazing image stabilization and autofocus. No doubt. Maybe bokeh not good enough. I disagree. Olympus bokeh is excellent. Bokeh, I think you are confused. Uh, there's a chance that you're confused here. When you talk about bokeh, the definition of bokeh is the quality of blur. Uh, if I compare the quality of blur, say the Olympus 25 f1.8 versus any lenses from Canon or Nikon, with the 50 f1.8, right? Uh, Canon and Nikon 50 f1.8, will have shallower depth of field, which is blurrier background, no doubt. But if you talk about bokeh, the Olympus bokeh is better because the blur, the blur background area is creamier, is smoother, is pleasing, whereas the Nikon, say 50 f1.8 or Canon 50 f1.8, is nervous, it's distracting, it looks really bad, it looks very harsh, while well, there's more blur, but the blur area is distracting. So I'd rather take Less blur, but better bokeh from Olympus. Olympus lenses have amazing, beautiful bokeh. Some of the lenses have really, really nice, smooth bokeh. Uh, then some of this harsh, nervous bokeh from, say, Nikon or Canon lenses. George says, how does a high megapixel crop sensor compare to a low megapixel full-size sensor? What do you mean by no full-size sensor? High megapixel crop sensor compared with low megapixel. Okay, so you're saying that, say, a micro four thirds sensor with high megapixel compared to a full frame with low megapixel. Hmm, I wouldn't know, hey. Ian Bohr says, uh, OM systems would be a little too late to the party. Better late than never. And um, they are dying, so they gotta do something, hey. It's either they do this or not, or they continue on with the current path and really have a miracle micro-photorist camera because if they don't have it, they are toast. 
Coffee Technician says, if all Olympus camera micro filters is easy to use for content creator, I think it's very significant for sales. I like the tone of Olympus and the video is good for content. I hope Olympus make micro filters for creators. It's not so hard to do. They have excellent image stabilization. They have excellent face det detection auto focus. Uh, all they need to do is just make the, the camera work, right? Put in a microphone jack, make sure the form factor works, and you have a killer vlogging machine from on digital solutions. I am Hassan says Nikon proved that people still want style with their ZF and ZFC cameras. OM would do this and use Sigma and Lumix lenses rebranded until they develop their own L mount lenses. Yeah, why not? Joining L mount uh, alliance is not a bad solution. Uh, Vahagravi says, ah, YouTube updated interface. Robin, did you notice the changes? Uh, which changes in the interface are you talking about? I don't understand. Uh, Vahagravi says, the digits update in real time, like watch count and like numbers. Oh, okay, let me see. Because I'm viewing a different window to monitor the stats. Uh, everything seems normal. I don't see anything unusual at the moment. Everything seems quite normal. George says, uh, Robin, if you're going to have ads during live streams, would you pause the chatting during the time, please? I don't even know when the ads are going to appear. <laughs> so I have no control over this, hey. 3D Print Creator says, OM system is in rough weather. R&D for a new mount. Uh, at least five lenses to start with. Too much of a risk. They need quick improvement in quant quality with Micro Four Thirds. Whatever quick improvements of quality, whatever they want to do with Micro Four Thirds, whatever they want to push, they've done it in the past 15 years. They've tried everything, and I believe they've tried their best. So they've done their best, and yet they are disappearing from the market. So don't you think that it's time to do something radical? It is time to do something different. It is time to try something else. I'm not saying that abandon Micro Four Thirds or give up on Micro Four Thirds. They have gone too far and Micro Four Thirds is a solid system. I love Micro Four Thirds. I want Micro Four Thirds to continue. But for the sake of survival, if they want to continue to stay in the business, it's not a bad solution to eat into the larger chunk of pie, which is full frame, right? Paolo says, Hi Robin, when you say OM Solutions has hit bottom, it's fair to admit that financially they are not doing well either. Is it possible that they will be able to embrace the full frame? Why not? It's fair risk, right? If you, if you don't do it, you die. If you do it, you die. So why don't you do something different? Like try something that might actually work. And data proves that it will work. Look at the market share. Look at the share. Look at where the full frame numbers are. <laughs> Vagri says, someone said Canon is dropping the APS-C, I agree, I say R7 disagrees, ah, uh, okay, yeah, the RF mount stays, Nikon ZF is a game changer, it is, I agree, I've talked about the ZF in my recent video, so I'm not going to repeat them in this live stream, the drunk wedding photographer is talking to George, the live stream ads are random and creators have no control over the intervals, the ads show up on live, yeah, thanks for clearing that up, man. The drunk wedding photographer, Var everybody, I go into Micro Four Thirds because of Robin Wong. <laughs> Var says nice. I told him he's smart for chasing Micro Four Thirds niche. I'm not chasing the niche. I'm just, I just happen to be using it as my main camera for my photography jobs. I am a full-time photographer. So yeah, during my spare time, I create videos for this YouTube. Var says, uh, talking Nikon, too many in the space. Okay. <laughs> Andrew says, Sony and Canon cameras are ugly. I, I think Canon cameras are okay. I, I can live with Canon design. In fact, like, uh, this Canon 5D, I thought it looked pretty awesome. I thought it looks pretty sleek, right? I thought Canon cameras are fine, but Sony, no. Sony cameras are just really ugly. Uh, lackluster reviews? Who is giving lackluster reviews? Masiech says, are you planning to do photo walks in London or anywhere else in the world? No, I'm not currently in a uh, in any shape to travel really far. Uh, I'm recovering from COVID. Um, 
sorry, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> During COVID and all the lockdowns, obviously my business take a hit. So in that two years, I was earning very little income, almost no income at all from my photography jobs. The only thing that kept me afloat was this, was this YouTube channel. So I'm doing okay, I'm surviving. I'm not in trouble or anything. It's just that it took me a lot to recover financially. I'm recovering well, don't worry, I'm doing quite well. Jobs are pouring in now. I'm taking more shoots. I'm getting busier and busier. So financially, I'm recovering quite quite okay it's just that it would be also irresponsible for me to just spend like tens of thousands of dollars to travel like go to london at this point so that will have to wait i'm not saying i'm not doing it but that will have to wait for at least a few years dave says what lens mount do you think they would use on the full frame olympus either their own mount or they join the l alliance steven says hello everyone hey steven thanks for dropping by nice to see you here Barry says, yeah, you're behind the comments, that's why. <laughs> Christopher Nash says, what lens should I use inside a nightclub for professional portrait shots to sell to the club? You might want to consider adding additional light first, either invest in LED lights or strobes or wireless flash. Uh, if you can't use any light at all for portraits, then I'll suggest using at least f1.8 lenses. You need to gather more light. Satik says, live streamer, live streamer, vlog action camera market and make it wild to capture a market and save the company. I don't think they can go to action camera. They did try though. Olympus did have an action camera. It was the TG Tracker and it failed. <laughs> Milind say, hello, Robin from India. Hi, Milind. Thanks for dropping by. Nice to see you. Santik says, photo walk I hear. Yeah, maybe, maybe. But my photo walks are usually in the weekdays though. I don't do photo walks in the weekend. The drunk wedding photographer says, I wanted to love the Lumix G100, but so many flaws, no image stabilization, so I saw it for the EM1 Classic, yeah. The deal breaker is no image stabilization. Jolo says, I was talking to Val Vahagraphy, we try converting him to Sony, he won't, he don't buy it. <laughs> John, Sony expensive la, no money way. Mario says, the market share you show is about the camera brands, including all sensor sizes and different kind of gear, like DSLR, video cameras. No, uh, imaging products only, not video. Uh, fixed lenses and so on. Yes, fixed lenses. OM system is third in mirrorless category, by the way. OM system is no longer in third. Uh, OM system has fallen behind, I, I think, fourth or fifth at the moment. Uh, Sony was the first, followed by Canon, then Fuji and Nikon, then Panasonic and on system somewhere there. Christopher Nash says, Robin, you're such a happy guy. Yes, I am. I would love to be a friend like you. <laughs> do you ever get angry? Yes, I do get angry when people question me like, Robin, why, why did you go to full frame? Robin, why you hate micro photos? I'm like, I've never abandoned micro photos, right? Will it what? Santi says, got market in full frame, but could it be OM's market? Eat other people's market. Angelo says, Robin, Blackmagic Design is a camera company and they entered the L Mount. There's a proof another camera company can enter L Mount Alliance. Yeah, things can be worked out. All they need to do is just sit down, talk, work in the numbers. Things can happen. Burana, nice to see you here, man. How are you doing? Full frame body need full frame lenses. I'm not worried about lenses. Olympus is the lens expert. 3D print creator says, who would buy an Olympus full frame camera? I would. I think only the people that are Olympus users already. Finding new customers means being really innovative and offering something better than Canon, Sony, and Nikon. What makes you think that OM system cannot offer better than Sony, Canon, and Nikon? Hmm. David Cruz says, that is the cost and weight of buying new lenses for full frame. Yeah, this is where OM Digital Solutions really need to make compact and high-performing lenses for the full-frame system if they were to make one. Quite frankly, a podcast about how Stern says, OM going full-frame, uh, in my opinion, will be an admission that the micro photos revolution failed. Well, look at the market share. Look at the market share. Micro photos revolution has failed. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. All right. I still believe in Micro Four Thirds. I still believe that Micro Four Thirds is the best camera system for me. I still use Micro Four Thirds as my main camera for jobs and for my personal shoots. I still think that there is a place for Micro Four Thirds 
in the world of photography. But micro four thirds has failed, right? If we cannot admit that, I think we are just being ignorant. Jarash says, you nailed it, Robin. Owen will not ready to eat from the pie. <laughs> Why not? They should, right? Raphael says, hi, Robin. I'm with the EMON X with native and adapted lenses. Love the image stabilization. For that further, I also bought the some old phase one medium format gear with vintage Mamiya lenses. No need for full frame. All right. If you're happy with it, then go for it. So full frame OM camera, use back all... Or M mount? No, they need a new mount or L alliance mount. They need to move forward, not backward. John Lowe says, imagine a full frame OM camera, the color and the design, the material of the Tesla Cybertruck, neither vintage nor futuristic. <laughs> they need to make a stand, right? Whether it's futuristic or vintage, they can't have both. Sourcebase says, I love to adapt all OM mount lenses to my OM1. Well, good for you. Zoltan says, hi, hello. I said hi to you already. David says, just had an ad. All right, cool. Asmira said, that 46% of Canon also includes tons of APS-C cameras, similar for Sony and Nikon. By the way, where is Fuji in the list? Fuji is in the list. Didn't you see it? Pinnacle Pete says, I think Olympus should have licensed their name and built cell phone lenses. They, have, they are experts in building high quality products. What makes you think they are not making lenses for smartphones? Hmm. Quite frankly, a podcast about how Stern says, just a quick shout out to Robin. When you were an Olympus ambassador, you were essentially selling the product, but you're also selling yourself and your personality appeals to many people. Oh, thank you so much, man. I, I'm not really trying to sell the product. I know like my job as ambassador is to spread a good word about uh, the products that I'm using, right? But because I genuinely believe in micro four thirds, I really loved my Olympus cameras and lenses. And I hope that you guys see that I am not backtracking on anything that I've said, whatever that I've said in my reviews when I was ambassador still stays true today, even when I've left my ambassador program. Like I'm no longer tied or involved or associated with OM Solutions or OM Digital Solutions or Olympus, but I still use Micro Four Thirds as my main camera. I still use Micro Four Thirds to create content. All the content you see on my YouTube is made by Olympus and OM1 is the camera, my webcam that you are, that's shooting me for this live stream. And I still use Olympus for my street photography, my shutter therapy sessions. So I hope that my integrity stays. I hope that you guys see that I'm not the kind of person that one day, oh, Olympus is the best. And the next day, oh, Olymp Olympus is not good enough. Sony is the next best thing. I'm not that kind of person. I still stay true to my beliefs that I still believe in micro four thirds. And thanks, thanks for the shout out. I appreciate it. Xmina says, not Robin, full frame DSLR Pentax K1 almost killed it. Uh, recall Paradise Full Frame for a few years and I lost many neglected APS-C customers. Nah. K1 was too late to the game because it's not mirrorless. Everyone is making mirrorless cameras. And the fact that uh, Recall or Pentax fails is not because of full frame. It's because they didn't go mirrorless. It's a fact. It's a non-arguable fact. And think about it. Why? Did Canon and Nikon go to full frame? Uh, sorry, go to mirrorless. They have been doing mirror, uh, full frame. They were doing fine, right? They have selling their, their full frame DSLRs all these years. But why, finally, did Canon go mirrorless with the RS, RF mount? Why did Nikon go mirrorless with the Z mount? Mirrorless is the future. And the fact that Pentax stays stubborn, did not want to go mirrorless, that's what killed them. Robin Schaffer says, if OM joined forces with Sigma, they could have the L mount improve the Sigma bodies. Agreed. Hmm. Vahagraphy says, do you know John Ishii? Yes, he's a friend. MP says, hi Robin, Panasonic has increased market share by bundling lenses with their full frame cameras at very little cost. OM system has recently increased uh, retail price on lenses. Yes, Panasonic is doing quite well actually. Jarash says, look at Sony. They came with focus stacking in their A7R5, which OM has long ago. And that's the problem, right? Like whatever that made OM Digital Solutions cameras special, whatever that Olympus has in their trump card, everyone has it now. 
Gerard Hill says, it's peak time now for him to jump to full frame and show the elephant uh, how fast a rabbit can run. Okay. <laughs> yes, it's time. They, they join full frame. Hey, Vic. Thanks for dropping by. Nice to see you. Dallas Photography says, I always love your videos. Also suffered when you were adopting on still going forward with the brand. Concerning Olympus, I think they should push forward as they always did. I never doubted going forward with the brand. Like this, this is what I talk about, right? Uh, just now, someone asked me if, if I ever get angry. Well, I don't get angry. I just get a little bit upset because I have fought so hard to talk about Micro Four Thirds and why I love Micro Four Thirds. And here people are saying that I'm doubting myself and uh, whether I should go forward with the brand or not. I never doubted the brand. <laughs> I am one of the biggest believers in Micro Four Thirds and if whatever I've done so far is not good enough, I don't know what else I can do to prove to you guys that I love Micro Four Thirds, right? But here is the thing, I'm also not blind. If you look at the market share, Micro Four Thirds is dying and OM system is not even in the list. I'm just being honest here that something needs to be done, right? But I never doubt it. John says, why didn't Samsung continue with their camera? Because they didn't want to fight. And they foresaw that, it's, it's a very smart move by Samsung actually. They foresaw that the camera market is shrinking. Uh, it's getting worse and worse. And they themselves are producing, making smartphones, right? They are the big players of smartphones. So they know that the future is smartphone camera. So not wanting to eat into their own pie, so they gave up on making cameras. It's just very simple. David says, in two months, I will be two years with that JIP has owned OMDS and hasn't done much. That is true. That is very worrying. Patrick McFadden says, Robin, love all your videos. Oil system must adapt to the market to survive as to all brands. I'll still use any micro photos bodies more than my full frame. That is correct. Yeah, just as I've mentioned that if I want to see them make full frame cameras, but I'm not going to abandon my micro photos camera, you know, and obviously micro photos camera is not going anywhere. And I don't think they should give up on their micro photos system, right? Just because they explore full frame, just like what Panasonic did. They have the L Alliance mount. They also have micro four thirds mount. Dell's photography says, sorry, it might be my Spanish, but there was a time when you stopped being ambassador. It made me sad. Lots of love from Uruguay. Ah, oh, don't be sad. Whether an ambassador or not, I am a photographer, right? I'm still here for everyone. I continue making uh, content. I continue to shoot. And I've never given up on Micro Four Thirds. I've never given up on Olympus. Like, I still shoot with Olympus. I still share my love for Olympus or Micro Four Thirds day in and day out. So don't be sad. I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. I hope you guys stay too. 18ready93 says, Hey Robin, recently on Four Thirds Rumors, I've read a declaration from an OM System CEO who said Full Frame wasn't an option. Maybe for what OMDS think, Full Frame would be the last of Micro Four Thirds. Now, they always say things like this, right? Like, there was one time where uh, Olympus says that, Oh, we will never go high megapixels. Our limit is 12 megapixels. We think that uh, more than 12 megapixels is not necessary. And then suddenly they release 16 megapixels camera and then 20 megapixels camera. <laughs> there was also a time when Nikon says, oh, we are not going to go full frame. APS-C is good enough. And then they release D3 and D700. <laughs> they make statements all the time. They mean nothing. <laughs> Trust me. Well, we are two and a half hours into the stream and we still have about 119 people. I'm going to drink some water and coffee. Mm. Mm. Ah, man, there's so many of you here. Just some coffee. Mm. Where were we? Itidona says, can I share my bizarre theory? Smartphones will cannibalize full frame. Professionals will use medium format and birders will use micro four thirds. Professionals will not use medium format. Medium format is too slow. Uh, and I don't see how medium format can catch up in terms of speed and heat dissipation. That thing generates heat like crazy. 
Uh, and it's just too slow and the files are too large. Uh, it's not practical to use in a professional environment. Brothers use micro four thirds. <laughs> Tell that to all the people who use Canon and Sony. Exploring with Rotten Fish says, Good night, Robin. See you next time. Good night. Thanks for dropping by. And yeah, have a good rest. The Drunk Wedding Photographer says, John Ishii, Robin Wong Livestream Collab. I am very hesitant to bring anyone to my live stream at this point, uh, mainly because I'm still very new to doing live stream and I'm still figuring things out, like how to do this audio properly, how to sell the stream properly, how to do all the transitions, and uh, I'm still very new. In fact, I screw up so much that in my first few live streams, someone actually said, Robin, if you don't fix this problem, we are leaving. There was a threat and I felt so demoralized because of that and it took me a while to gain enough strength to come online again and do this live stream it's not easy facing people when everyone has these expectations from you because like hey i am a professional photographer i'm supposed to do, know how to do this right but i know i installed the obs software for the first time i have i installed all these things for the first time i'm doing all these things like i'm this is like my fourth or fifth stream so i'm still learning how to do this and even the past two streams ago two weeks ago like I couldn't start the stream. I just kept being disconnected and I had to create a new stream and thankfully people came back and watched the stream. So it was, there was a lot of things I have to improve. There's a lot of things I need to learn how to do. And, and I'm not confident enough to have another guest. And if I were to have uh, another guest in my stream, it will be Mati Sulanto, Rob Track, uh, Jimmy, Tra uh, Jim Jimmy Chang from Red35, or a microphone nerds, Emily, right? Oh, she's such an amazing photographer. And you know, I'll have my local friends here, like John Lo and Andrew Chow from Joanna Andrew Show. Uh, first, these are the people that I will bring in as my guests in this live stream first before anyone else. But uh, the bottom line is I'm not confident in having guests and I don't even know if my computer can handle multiple people or if my connection is strong enough uh, to or stable enough to hold the stream with different people. Etin Ready 93 says, in my humble opinion, it would be the best for the business to maintain both microfolders and a new compact as possible full frame system. Yes, I never say anything about abandoning microfolders. Like that would be suicide, right? MP says, Olympus owners should be proud of the fact that they are not following the crowd and a system that is more than capable, ignore the full frame hype. It's not about ignoring the full frame hype. It's not about the Olympus owners. This is about the company surviving. Like they are almost non-existent in terms of camera share. You know, like I'm just going to bring up the screen. 5.7%, which includes OM system, Hasselblad, Pentax. That could mean that OM system make up to what? 1%, 2%? That is worrying. Really worrying. And if they don't do something soon, I'm not saying that going full frame the solution. This is just one of the possible uh, things that they can explore to eat into the bigger chunk of pie, right? Uh, if, but it, if they don't do something soon, things are going to get worse. Jarash says, Hey Robin, cheer up. I know people doubt sometimes on your love for Micro Four Thirds, but personally, I feel you are so true and fair in your opinions and you are straight from the heart. Thank you. Integrity is very important to me. I always try to be honest. If I find something that I don't like about any cameras, not just Micro Four Thirds, right? Whatever camera that I use, I'll just be blunt. I'll really be honest and tell you the things that I don't like. And I think uh, I, I don't want people to think that I am covering something or I don't want people second guessing the things that I say. So being honest, be truthful uh, and holding on to my integrity, that is something very, very, very important to me. SL7293 says, it seems to me that for most amateurs, the smaller size of microfolder system trumps whatever technical advantages a full frame camera may have. Therefore, I wonder if failure of microfolder is a marketing failure. Nah, I don't think it's a marketing failure. It's a lot more than that. There's, if you want to talk about why microfolder fail, <laughs> that could be like another stream where we can talk about different factors, including marketing, right? Including marketing product strategy, like, What's with micro USB in the OM5, you know? <laughs> right? And some lenses, they are like questionably large, you know? Like, yeah, there are a lot of things that contributed to their failure. Like, it's not just marketing, but that's a different topic altogether. Uh, 
Dallas Photography says, give like. Oh, thank you so much. Carl says, why would L Alliance let OMD join them? Why not? Why not? They let Blackmagic join them. So why not OMD? ETD Etidona says, Mini format is very fast in last iterations. No. I tried the GFX100 Mark II, the latest one. Slow. Xmina says, no, no, again, Pentax had mirrorless K01 and Q system before Canon and Nikon had any mirrorless. But the uh, mirrorless system was like, uh, I have the K01. <laughs> if they were serious about what they are doing, they would have put the full frame in the mirrorless and really make it work, but they did not. The drunk wedding photographer says, Nikon D700 plus EM1 are my match made in heaven. But these are very old cameras, right? They are more than 10 years old now. The drunk wedding photographer says, Medium format so slow for weddings, no way it ever gets fast or affordable enough for the average wedding photographer. It's not about affordable. Like, I understand the cameras are really expensive and that's a totally different different topic altogether. But if you want to shoot weddings, right, imagine you're coming back with like three to 4,000 files and imagine each files, they are like 100 megapixels. They are the size of your storage and the size of that you have to deal with the processing power that you need is insane. You know, it's it's just not possible. John Lowe says, dude, let's do an OBS crash course. You've got me and Andrew to get your coin. <laughs> I'll, I'll be fine, John. No worries. It's more like I need to take one step at a time and not rush because if, if you rush things, then bad things happen, right? That's, that's what happens when you, you push too fast too soon, right? So... Give me time. I'll get there. 3D Print Creator says, I love your enthusiasm for OM systems the past years. You're one of the most favorite YouTubers when it comes to Olympus. Thank you so much. That means a lot to me. Nevertheless, I don't agree with you about going full frame. Sorry. Which part of you you don't agree with? Be more specific. And you don't have to apologize. I am okay with people disagreeing with me. You just have to tell me your reasons and we can talk about it. Uh, Dell's photography, plus one for a crash OBS course. <laughs> Benjamin Stewart says, a Panasonic G9 user here worried for the company that it launched the full frame cameras, but seems that they are selling well. So the two ecosystems can exist side by side from the same company. Exactly, right. As Mina says, don't worry, we can do a four hour stream if you can survive it now. Nah. I will cap it at three hours. <laughs> four hours is excessive. Peter says, hey Robin, hey Peter, I know you never doubted the brand. I sometimes feel that Micro Four Thirds was not the way forward, but then I'll travel someplace and my OM camera and one for two lenses is all I would take. Yeah, I never doubted Micro Four Thirds and Micro Four Thirds has always been solid. Uh, they have never failed to deliver fantastic results and my clients are always happy with my photographs and I'm happy with the photographs that I get. So... I've never hesitated uh, for once about Micro Four Thirds system. Ivar says, I love Micro Four Thirds. I only need full frame for wide shift lens. Yeah, that's true. Hey, if you use tilt shift lens, well, I'm fortunate Micro Four Thirds doesn't have it. Weight is all and I don't make large prints and the resolution is as high as can be. Full frame will be 80 megapixel sensors. That is reaching minimum format territory there. C-Line says, has OM system also dropped market share in Japan? I thought they used to sell pretty well with the pen line. Yes, they have dropped. They were number one at one point. Uh, for the longest time, Olympus has always been number one in mirrorless. Uh, then I think now currently they are at number three in Japan. Or number four. I don't know. I don't have the latest data. Gusti says, hi Robin. Hey Gusti, I just moved from M system to Micro Four Thirds. M system? The Leica M system? Uh, because of your video and really love it. Do you have any suggestion of portrait lens that I must have? Well, it depends on your shooting style. I can't just recommend it to you, but uh, I, pers I can tell you what I use. I personally use 45 f1.8 and 75 f1.8 for my portraits. But 75 f1.8, you need some working distance and usually it's not my go-to lens because I'll be too far from my subject and the most important thing when it comes to shooting portrait is communication. So 45 f1.8 is a more practical lens to use. And you can also check out uh, Sigma 56 f1.4. Ryan says, hey, hello from Brooklyn, New York. Hey, Ryan, how are you? Thanks for dropping by. 
Nice to see you here. 3D Print Creator says, OM is owned by an investment company. They are not going to invest in the new infrastructure before OM is going to make them any money. And sorry for the sorry. Okay, if that's your thought about the the company, not so much about the capability of uh, OM Digital Solutions making full from camera. I don't think that the company is going to just let it die. Just like that, I don't think GIP is just going to let OM system die. I think they are going to try at least for five years or so. Unless they're doing really bad, right? And just give up altogether. I think within five years, if the company really fail, then they're just going to sell it off. But uh, I also believe that there is a potential for OM Digital Solutions to grow. And they just need to do the right things. And currently, they're not doing the right things. <laughs> That's the problem. Carl says, I don't think OM Digital Solution is adopting anyone's mount to win more. It's just sharing customers. Blackmagic has a win for L Mount Alliance and broadened the appeal of L Mount. Yeah, then why don't they join the L Mount? I think they can do their own thing. Here's the thing OM Digital Solutions going into the full frame is not to win over Canon and Nikon. It's not going to take over. No, that's not possible. But it's more like taking a bite of that huge chunk of pie. Why not? I don't think it's impossible. I don't think it's going to take too much resource for them to pull together a full frame system because everything is already existing, right? The mount is already there. Obviously, they buy someone's sensor. They don't make their own sensor and they already know how to make a camera. They can use their own current camera design. Release a camera, take a bite, take in some profit and continue making cameras. That's all I'm saying. Carl says, but you could be right. Elmount would gam might gamble that OMD would help Elmount grow in popularity. Yeah, Elmount is also not doing particularly great. If you look at the, uh, whatever they are doing, so they could use a boost from whatever help that they can do. X Mila says, micro filters lenses being large. This reminds me of how my 75-300 is for some strange reasons larger than my FPS's Pentax uh, 55 to 300, which has more zoom range and covers larger circle. Well, that... Pentax must be a really small lens then because I remember the Olympus uh, 75 to 300 being really tiny, really, really small for what it is. But have you also considered a more modern lens design? Like the 75 to 300 is also quite small and quite light, but uh, the image quality is also quite decent. So it could be just better optics. Dallas Photography says, talking businesses, the reality is that any company has to get good revenue. I don't know how is OM really doing regarding revenue, do you know? Not doing well, obviously. Just look at the market share. <laughs> Not doing well. The money is going everywhere else but OM. Vermis says, so I have five years to scrap together enough money for a 150 to 400 lens. David Cruz says, Olympus should have been bought by Panasonic. But I also don't think Panasonic is doing that well to buy Olympus? You get what I mean? Dallas Photography says, uh, it's talking to Itidone, says, I tried to get that new Panasonic, it's not available yet, so how can you say it's not selling? Okay, I did not see that message by Itidone before. Yeah, you can buy use. Uh, I've seen a video of an Italian dealer, okay. You guys can talk to each other, no worries, I won't disturb. Carl says, OM Digital Solutions should copy Sony and start with an RX1 R type product. Not a bad idea, it's just that at this moment, they need to be a little bit more aggressive rather than experimental. So whatever that they released, if it's a full frame camera, it has to work because they have limited resources and if they don't do anything soon, they will disappear altogether. Things are quite dire. C-Line says, Nikon has basically laid the blueprint for OM system with the ZF. Take the vintage OM1 film camera and add digital controls with full frame sensor and you have a winner. <laughs> not a bad idea, not a bad idea. Panasonic has one foot in micro four thirds and one in full frame. How is it going? Gina Mark II is not selling because it costs S S5. Uh, I think this is what, oh, the timing of the comments appearing is a little bit off. Hey, so I saw the reply to you by uh, someone else saying that, how do you know it's not selling well? Uh, that's true. It's not even selling in Malaysia. So how do you know it's not selling well? <laughs> Tech Gidrop says, Hello Robin, with the S5 Mark II being cheaper than the G9 Mark II and the OM1, they will have to lower the price of the OM1 or go full frame to compete. 
The micro filters is great for everything but low light indoor action. I do agree. The pricing of micro filters needs to be adjusted somehow. When the EM1 was launched, I think the price was just right. It hits the right uh, sweet spot between, you know, being premium but not excessively expensive and yet affordable for everyone. Ryan says, I think OEM should focus on right micro four thirds. I mean, size and price. Let's say if you can make best sub $900 micro four thirds. I think that category belongs to OM5. <laughs> Look at what they do with OM5. Uh, I should probably do another stream to talk about the reasons that led to the downfall of micro four thirds, right? All the things that they did to self-sabotage themselves. Like, OM5 is the perfect solution. Like around, yeah, it's not really sub $900, but it is what you're talking about, right? At that category. And it should be doing really, really well, but they're just copying whatever that was done in the EM5 Mark III and they're still putting a US micro USB. Like why? Why OM Digital Solutions, why? <laughs> Ryan says, start with Olympus Pen or APL with super vlog compact style and make dual screen front and back and good audio. Bring back the consumer to OM and then add the pro line later. Yeah. But their focus, although they are trying to sell their so called pro line, their target hasn't always been pro photographers. Their target has always been photographers uh, who also want a secondary camera, if you get what I mean. <laughs> Alright, Esmira says Pentax S5 is uh, quite good Even has a bit better contrast I put them both on my Oli and compare Thanks to adapter uh, My Meno Focus Unfortunately is in that scenario I like them both Alright 18 Ready 93 says Around March, April 2021 Rumours about a collab between Samsung and Olympus Started to circulate but uh, nothing happened. Yeah, it was just a rumor, hey. Like us, Xiaomi and Hasselblad and Electronics are doing next bit thing. Could be the next bit thing. But I think most of these collaborations is merely, merely just branding. Like Xiaomi is latching on Like Us brand. Of course, they're paying like a huge sum of money to use that red dot on their cameras, on their smartphones. Uh, but how much is actually Leica? the recipe or secret ingredient of Leica in the camera is also very hard to tell. Right, time check. Uh, it's almost midnight here in Malaysia. I will stay on for another maybe five minutes before I call it night. So if you guys still have any more questions, uh, feel free to ask. Uh, if you have any more thoughts to share, whether OMD solutions or OM system should go full frame, leave it in the comments. I just thought that there is no clear answer. Hey, if they go full frame, it will hurt them. If they don't, they don't go full frame, if they stay with whatever current traje trajectory that they're they are doing now, it's also not going to help things. It's they are like in a very difficult situation. I'm going to drink some water, keep myself hydrated. <sighs> oh, by the way, for those of you who are still here, there's like so many of you here, 117 people. Just wanna take a quick break to share you guys this. So I can see this. Uh, I did a new photo book, uh, print a new photo book, and of my recent street photography photographs in the past two to three months. Uh, yeah, not the best uh, way to to share my photographs, but uh, yeah. Just gonna see, just randomly share another photograph. Oh, this was the one that was taken with the uh, Seven Artisans 18 F6.3 Mark II, the uh, body cap lens. Uh, we can see this and this side. Yeah. Yep. Print your photographs, guys. Uh, don't just let it sit in your computer or just share on Instagram. Print your photographs, and prints are not expensive. I spent like uh, 50 ringgit with this book. Uh, 50 ringgit is like 15 US dollars or less. <laughs> no, it's less than 15 US dollars. Say hey. 15 is gonna be like 70 ringgit, so it's like less than 10 US dollars. So it's really cheap. Coming back to the comments, I'll read the last few ones and I'll call it uh, the night. David says, uh, OM Digital Solutions needs to release a sub $1,000 Pan F Mark II. That will be awesome. Can't wait for that. 
E.T. Dona says, you asked how I know Gina Mark II is not selling well. I've seen a video from an Italian dealer talking to other European dealers. Basically, it says the camera is not getting pre-orders. I'm not pre-ordering cameras. I'll just buy the camera when it's available. Like, why would I want to throw money at something that's not there? Like, I don't know where this pre-order culture comes from. Eh? I think it's very impractical and honestly unnecessary. Just, just bring the camera to the store and start selling, like for goodness sake. Ken says, I feel like they should just stick to the good vintage design, not to expensive price tag and the color science. Used to be Canon for frame users, switched to Olympus mainly because of the vintage look. Yeah, I agree. Stay with the color science. I do believe uh, Olympus has amazing colors. I like Olympus colors and hopefully they stay with that too. Gusti says, maybe they need to be more aggressive in digital marketing too. And it's hard to get on system here in Indonesia. They never had official rep representation in Indonesia. Hey, they had Olympus Malaysia, but they've never had Olympus in Indonesia. I, I always wondered why. I thought Indonesia has quite a large market. Angelo says, uh, OM5 is a great size camera for vlogging, vacation and street photography, but the camera misses a headphone jack. The camera, no 4K60, Fuji SS20 is better. Yeah, like I said, if we were to talk about why micro four threads fail or you know what leads to the current dire situation, there's a long list. Like, you know, there are just a lot of things that they don't put in the camera. Like, why the hell do they still use micro USB? That's a big problem there. As Mida says, I'd love to see something like EP7 with rangefinder electronic viewfinder uh, or electronic viewfinder hot shoe to have advanced but still portable camera. EM10 is too large for that. Wow, you think EM10 is large? Okay, they also replaced the Pan F. I think EM10 size is manageable. I think they're perfectly fine. Jerry Williams says, uh, Olympus has a niche since I can remember 1980s rugged outdoor that's actually affordable. I think they should stay there. I'm not asking them to go anywhere. I'm, they should definitely make, continue to make Micro Four Thirds camera, but at the point now, Micro Four Thirds camera, they are not doing well. And if they continue to do whatever they're doing now, I'm afraid they're not going to survive. I'm just saying that they need to start exploring options. Vince says, I think Olympus should make a small photographer's fixed lens Fuji X100 killer, but with image stabilization and possibly a short zoom. Maybe, maybe they should, but uh, that would not be enough to save the company. Ryan says, uh, he's talking to Angelo, the OM5 is $800, that'll be a hit. Dell's Photography says, Robin, I've been trying to get my hands on the 150 to 400, can't find it anywhere. Hmm, I think supply shouldn't be an issue here in Malaysia. Hey, I don't know where you are. The drunk wedding photographer says, I hate the pre-order culture too. Yeah, I know it doesn't make any sense. Right? Why want to give you money and not get anything? If I give you my money, I want my product now. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense to me. Like, I, I, I can't see the logic of, of pre-order, right? Sourcebase says, I would love to see a modern pen mini, but fear it would not sell. Yeah, true. Pen mini would be awesome. Yeah, I have my EPM one here. I still love it. I still bring it out for my shutter therapy sessions. I still think it's a fantastic camera. No doubt, I love the Pen Mini. I would love to see a modern take on that. Yeah, pre-ordering camera is strange. I like to test the camera first and actually wait a couple of months until initial firmware issues are solved. Could you share a link where you buy a photo book? It's photobook.com.my. Uh, just type photobook uh, wherever you are. If you are in Malaysia, just type photobook uh, Malaysia you'll find the link. There's only one for the book of Malaysia. All right, time check. It is already midnight, so I am going to stop answering questions here and I'm gonna call it a night. So guys, thank you, thank you so much for joining in the stream. I hope you've enjoyed the stream as much as I've do, I've, I have. Uh, definitely, I've enjoyed talking to you guys. A lot of you have shared a lot of interesting points. I love hearing from you guys, so thanks for uh, coming in with your, your thoughts, your opinion. Uh, definitely, I appreciate all of you being here. So for me, there's no right answer whether Olympus or OM system should go full frame or not. If they go full frame, obviously it's going to open up a world of possibilities for them. I don't think it's impossible for them to do. 
They also can eat into a larger chunk of camera pie that will help with their business at the moment, which is definitely not doing well. Uh, if they still don't go to full frame, they want to stay with the micro four thirds, it's not also not a bad solution. They just need to really drastically improve whatever products that they have now, like better sensor with better dynamic range and high ISO and really, really make it sell, right? Uh, but either way, there's no easy answer for Micro Four Thirds at the moment. There's no easy answer for OM Digital Solutions. I wish them all the best. I really I am rooting for them. I want them to succeed. I want to continue using my excellent Micro Four Thirds camera here. Uh, you know, I love my micro filter system. I hope they're not going anywhere. And yeah, I really want to to have better cameras and lenses in the future for micro four thirds, and if that's possible. All right, guys, if you have enjoyed this stream, if you have found this sharing beneficial, please consider buying me a cup of coffee. Links up there, 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 wherever. <laughs> I'm pointing at the wrong, wrong there. That's the link there. Or you can check below the, the descriptions. Please buy me a cup of coffee. Or you can contribute directly to my PayPal. Uh, any small contribution that goes a long way will definitely help me to continue making more content and publish them right here. Uh, until the next one, please go out and take more photographs. Bye-bye.